doing whatever. Playboy Cardi sent him to the store to get backwoods. He Don't gave him $500. <laughs> he gave him $500. He's going to get some backwoods. Do I got to take it off his 500 or I... And Playboy Cardi was like, you keep the change. I'm like, yo, you what's the change? Keep the change? I mean, you need your change back? That's from the rent. Bro. I want to pay for the backwoods. You gave him $500 for backwoods, bro. I'm you might even breaking it, honey. Like, I'm not breaking it. Okay, count not hurt. We good, huh? Go ahead. You walk in the, you walk with some cheesecake, right though? Go ahead. Huh? You walk with some cheesecake, with though? Diddy? I've always thought about that, yo. Yeah, I've always thought about that. It depends on what borough, man. Bro, for Diddy, yeah, Wherever they was at, it was far, right? It was like Harlem yeah, and Brooklyn and shit like that? Yeah, that's that's far as shit. That's far as shit. But for Diddy, though. It's for Diddy, though. I'm not doing shit for Diddy, first of all. Diddy got me all way fucked up, but I've always thought about it. I saw the clip recently. I was like, what I have done it? Like, if I'm a singer or rapper or whatever, if you, if, in front if somebody of me, could put you on through the podcast, and the other podcast right. is in the crib, they say, and he say, walk and get the cheesecake. You want to walk and get the cheesecake? I really don't know. Like, that's how I've always thought. Yeah, that's what got to be different. It depends. Because <laughs> I respect the nigga that's dumb. That's like, that's, I don't respect that's like it's a joke, it's though. It's hard like, to yeah. ask people questions of what would you do? Because it's easy to say, I ain't doing that shit. Yeah, but you in that position, yeah, yeah, that's why I nail, I don't yeah, be yeah. like, well, I'll be like, I don't know. I mean, if it's a group of us, it's followers, we'll walk in. Come on. Yeah, like, it's a trip now. Why they singing? They have the boy-ass scarf. Because I don't like cheese pizza. What the fuck with that shit? But Ryan Q live, and we are live. We got a bunch of niggas in the building today. Let's start with. My man has been here for this is fourth time. Introduce yourself, sir. I'm Jordan Plant from West Philly. Mm, <laughs> real, real, real. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, real All right my man, second time here. Introduce yourself. I'm um, Blair Nesmith, North Philadelphia. Mm, <laughs> nigga, fuck no, you side. You not really from North. No, that ass North. from North. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I got them educated. I went to private school early. Uh, 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 you from uh, Brewery uh, Town. <laughs> oh, no. Don't do that. Don't North do the Brewery Town thing, bro. I oh, see a story. No, no, yeah, 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 he's false niggas, too. I'm trying to change. Oh, I'm like, no. I live right around the corner from you. It's part of the transition. All right, you, you from you from oh. Northern Liberties too? Oh, okay, it's just show, it's just show King. I mean, you, I thought her guess. and then me. No, 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 I got this. It's, it's, it's a method of the madness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Northern Liberties part two. I'm not from Northern Liberties. Right. Oh, you're looking at the shirt. It's fish. No, you say you from right corner. Oh, you from Northern Liberties? No, <laughs> I'm not from Northern <laughs> you Liberties. Say North Philly. Where is you from? Oh, I'm section, from North Philly. <laughs> What's your name, nigga? Louis Tron. All right, bet. All right, and first time here. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And. The tag along of the day, you know, I was thinking, you know, because you've been here about fucking 17 times. And I was like, hmm, we, how many, we gonna talk about everything under the sun? What more do we have to talk about? I know I'm gonna have Jordan on. I was like, hmm, I don't really fuck her like that. But she's not like that. I'm like, it's only right we bring the other part, other, the the other person, a part of the whole thing that we're gonna talk about later that was with Jordan. Introduce yourself, miss. Shea Butter from West Philly. Mm. West Philly. Mm. What's up, from? Um, I live on 52nd Street. Right. Yeah. Park. Well, no, stop, I thought you was up to yeah. 52nd Street. Let's go. Let's go. Right, talk heavy. Let's go. Shout out to Butter. Seven time, everybody. Go check out our episodes. Whatever. <laughs> so, I say, Butter and Plain did some pretty cool, did a pretty cool thing recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Art by Sil. Sil. <laughs> talk a little bit about And Blair was a part of it as well. Um, so, let's talk about it. Sorry, I missed it. A little bit. Are you though? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I went to the pop You going to do it? <laughs> I could do it. Start. Um, I was playing around. <laughs> I was, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We was, we, I was playing around. Um, made a tweet because I was just trying to make a joke about <laughs> not going to uh, Miami Art Basel, and I was just like, we know Art Basel, like, cause it's Philly, Philly, we Basel, like, it was funny. And then people was like, yo, that's a good idea, and I'm like, really, it's not. Like, it's not even an idea. It's really a joke. And then like it started picking up traction overnight. I was like, yo, we all going crazy for this. Like, mad people hit me up about it. So then, um, Butter was in the comments like, "No, Joe, you gotta do it." So then I was like, <laughs> "Then I was like, Bro, shit, no, I was. <laughs> and, then, and then, I, then I was like, all right, buddy, you gotta, you gotta help me.'" And then, but I was like, "Talk about you." Yeah, but, I but, said, "I'll help." Yeah. Which I didn't think he was gonna actually call me. <laughs> I'm always there when I help, especially with the stuff like that. I don't mind, but I didn't think he was gonna actually call me. But he did. He said, "So, what you trying to do?" So ever since then, like we literally talked every day since then about what we were going to do. We did everything in like three weeks, a little three weeks, mm-hmm. less than a month. Butter, yeah. Butter did a lot of work. Butter did. I, I really had the idea, but Butter really was making phone calls, organizing mm-hmm. things. I really appreciate Butter for that. That was 
really amazing thing. Behind you. every Thanks, creative too. man is a <laughs> strong woman that really did all this shit. Yeah, real shit. Mm. <laughs> he, just, he just did the tweet. That was everybody it. Everybody yeah, everybody everybody was that was it. Everybody did the tweet. Oh, God. So this nigga tag along. Fuck this nigga. Actually, he's right. Actually, he's the tag along. It really was but a whole thing. So, all that, you know, three weeks, three weeks or months or something. Yeah, three weeks. Three weeks of communication, and all end up being what happened that weekend. You know, summer. We had six events. We supposed to have seven, but fuck Coopers. Fuck Coopers. Super fuck. Only down south. Only South Street, though, right? No, no, the whole the whole. Yo, I fuck with you, city head. The whole bridge. Air, air, record label. Yo, they are. Margarita. 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 But it's still fuck them, though. It's, it's definitely, it's fuck, it's definitely fuck South Street. West the jury is out in 40th Street Copas. But we're supposed, to have, we're supposed to have six events. I'm supposed to have seven events. events. We had six events. We had two on Friday, which was a... Uh, uh, the first day of Pop, which was a photography exhibit, uh, Brie Alexis DD Bash, which was a skincare awesome. exhibition at Marketplace Philly, which got close a bunch of local brands. Um, second day was second. Uh, Saturday was the second day of Pop, which was a photo exhibit, and then we had Jizzle Raw at, and Dust O performing at the Blistery Drone with Harvey Cash. They were selling clothes. They was making clothes in a drone, really dope. It was really good in there. I like it. Yeah, and, my, and then my. Sunday was really me and Butter Day because we planned everything on Sunday. We did. Sunday was our baby. Do you want to talk about Sunday? Yes, yeah, Sunday we did really small desk mm-hmm. and we did. Which um, is a very cool idea. Yes, we good. thought because we know most of it was just uh, artists, like <laughs> photographers and stuff, and we. I, I knew I wanted to have it where we had artists performing, like our favorite artists from Philly. So and if the, you don't know real quick, you know, under a rock, Tiny Desk is a thing. Yeah, right. So Jordan said, like, Tiny Desk. So we said, yeah. So we made the flyer and said Tiny Desk. And I was like, we can't call it Tiny Desk. Mm-hmm. I was like, we got to call it Small it's Table. I don't know what I said. Ass, right. <laughs> we already we already took fucking art days and made it by still. We, then we just slapping different names and shit. So, like everything. Right. So we said Really Small Desk. It was really cool because we had a really small table up front with the artists <laughs> before. I thought it was really cute. But that was my favorite. Very intimate. And then Jordan had his event which was the poetry event good, yeah, each event was, event was like really special it was a different crowd everyone seemed like they yeah. had a good time so um, i think that was the best part because yeah. like i feel like some people carry over to every event but like i feel like each event had the right amount of people like nothing was too pegged nothing was too crazy every event had the right amount of people to make it comfortable and i think it was just I, i've been saying it the whole time about or about so it was just divine and everything just happened really the way it was supposed to happen yeah. and even though we had an event on saturday night that was something we we're going to do in the future but everything else was just perfect and it was just worked out to to yeah. better than i can imagine yeah i i had the expectations that's what's up yeah. Yeah. okay uh, i also talk about another important matter right here that i noticed um you walk past the barbershop Yes. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Talk about this traumatic humbling oh experience. This, so we had two. Oh, wait, I forgot. That was a- <laughs> We got, yeah. we got two barbershop oh, yeah, that was that was different. All right, was the first barbershop experience. I was it was actually in that right before in that night. Uh, Butter was doing my interview at in that night, and I told her that I had gotten my hair cut by some Chinese people in in Kensington. Ooh, two two yeah, red flags. Yeah, the, 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 the five things, dollar John, ten dollar John. Clean the clippers. You said they make the clippers. They didn't clean the clippers. So that was. And they couldn't say it was a range. That was. Oh, they are the most. Oh, all right, that's not what happened, boy. That's not what you said. The second time it just happened last week, and it was raining outside, and I'm walking past the barber shop. Well, like, yo, you need a cut, and I'm like. Yeah, but like I, I needed, I needed a cut. But like you, you really not supposed to do that. He like yeah, get him. Show, I'm showing me his Instagram yet. Then he was like yeah, I could give you a deal like twenty dollars. I'm much, like oh, that's, that's the deal. How much is it? Twenty twenty five. Oh, that's the deal. I ain't, I ain't had a haircut in a minute. How much? <laughs> <laughs> Twenty five. 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 Twenty uh, it was on 40th Street, so I guess they was charging up because it's like University City type. Mm-hmm. But it was a black bull. He had he had all right cuts. <laughs> but yeah, I was just sorry. I got real bad level barbers. Like ever yeah. my whole life for real, for real. I just got I don't my really whole have life good is, barber luck. Time. Like I need a, I can't wait till I get rich and I get like hire a barber. Yeah, I couldn't imagine being that lost in the world without having like <laughs> you know a loyal relationship cuts, to the like a man without a lo- a man without a barber that gets haircuts. 
No, yes. I got some bad barbershop. Yeah. One time I was in a barbershop, the old head used the fucking chalk on my head. I was like, what you just do to my head? <laughs> what you just and, and then I'm touching, I'm like, my hand black. I'm like, hey, yo. Yeah, that happened. And then one time that same barber, I'm like 16. He's like, yeah, we want some some girls come through here tonight. You should come through. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm 16. <laughs> and what you what I'm supposed to do? I'm like, I'm not You're dirty sex. It's just your hand, like, what you mean yeah. I want to come through? What that mean? Yeah, like, you don't buy drinks on that. <laughs> Um, all right, speaking of other bad stories, <laughs> Philly versus Jersey. Uh, 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 yeah, what is that about Jersey? Yeah, so, they make so much noise about Jersey. <laughs> An extension or a thing that happened, a, a side street it. situation that happened because of Art Basil was people from Jersey having certain th- slick things to say, whatever, about uh, the situation, whatever. So, in general, what are your thoughts about the whole Philly Jersey dynamic? Um, do Jersey owe Philly more respect, or do Philly do we feel that's a little bit too much? What are y'all thoughts? They owe us respect. Talking <laughs> shit, Kane. Well, I don't think they owe us shit for real. For real. Mm. Yeah. I don't, I don't think, and like the comment that was made about the whole Basil shit, it wasn't about shit. It was just more press. That's what was all. the comment. It was Aunt Bill. Aunt Bill said some Remember, shit, but it wasn't even. It wasn't even nothing crazy. Remember I showed you, but. But the thing no, about, no, no, thing no, about no. what was it? It was just some other picture, like some plant and shit. Oh, that, I saw that. That was corny. It, it wasn't shit. I like why am I so hot? Fell. That was chill. Jersey, it's corny, but it's a shout to Jersey. Shout to Jordan's pun. It is Joe. How you gonna burn a bridge? You from Jersey? Very poetic. But but but, the, but the, my, that's my thing about people from Jersey is I feel like they don't give us enough credit for being here or even New York. They want to be Jersey. They want to be themselves, and it's like. All right, then build something out there. Mm. And we super But support nobody the music gonna go there. Yeah. There ain't nothing Anybody there that come out of Jersey, we, we, we listen to their music. And, and I didn't like out. how when certain certain conversations were brought up about like, um, we got the vent because niggas was saying like, what did we get from Philly? It was like, what? It's like, all right, whoa, 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 they, but he originally from New York though. That's we claim New York dumb. Yeah. 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 from New York though. I'm trying to think about people that's from Jersey. Bruce Willis from Jersey. That's All right. right. No, no, no Jersey slam in the morning. <laughs> that's we're gonna get this topic right now. Yeah. I got a whole topic right. We're gonna get right into this right now. You just said that. Uh-huh. What's some of y'all favorite whites? Bruce was one of my favorite white people. Charlize Theron. Adam you Sandler. just thirsty, so you just you trying. She on the list. I like Charlie Theron. She's a good actress. <laughs> she was my favorite one. She did a monster though. Jim Carrey, Will Ferrell, Tina Fey, Hillary Duff. She, she from um, Philly. Jonah Hill. Well, Jonah Hill definitely in my top ten. Seth Rogen up there. Seth Rogen. They both are all He's one of my favorite whites. Jerry Seinfeld. Damn. Race War. He could go. Oh, right. oh yeah, right. I'm like, who is oh. Grace Ward? Yeah. <laughs> Man, we, not, we, not, we not bringing Jerry Seinfeld inside. Jerry can go. I, mean, I don't, I don't, think I don't get I Jerry the fuck out of here. If you go out your door and it's white people just dying left and right by nigga hands, and you just see Jerry Seinfeld, he look at you like, save me. I'm like, come on, Jerry. <laughs> can they they got paid more and more, nigga. Throw a blanket over him like, come on. You got to go out there and get him? No, he got to go to the door. Can we get one Jerry? I'm going to save Adam Sandler. I'm gonna say that you saw that drip he yeah. had. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. I'm definitely saving Will Ferrell. I love Will Ferrell. Definitely saving Will. Sure. We ain't seen no white woman who. Oh, he's I, I said Jimmy Fallon. He said. Oh, oh I got you. Oh, I fuck with Sandra Bullock. I've always fucked with Sandra Bullock. Really? I don't like her face. Who? Melissa McCarthy. I knew you was trying to hit. I knew you was trying to hit. You trying to hit Charlize? Now you're not trying to hit Sandra. Yeah, I ain't trying to hit Charlize. That goes without saying. But Sandra Bullock, I don't like her face. Sandra Bullock, I don't like her face. Angelina Jolie, she can't. 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 Yeah. yeah. Is she white? white? Yeah, she white. Oh, is she white? Like, is she real she's, white? She's spicy like, white. She's like, culture Angelina? white or is she like German right, or some shit like that? I mean, I that's white too. <laughs> that's white too. I mean, but they got background though. White is white. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, some white people don't have anything that they have like that's their they own and shit. Like they, they just, you know what's funny about that? They don't call them lost niggas though. They be calling us lost niggas because we can't necessarily <laughs> trace our shit back to, you know, the, ans- the fake ass <laughs> ancestry sites. White people don't know what the fuck they come from yeah. outside of a trailer park. Nobody call shit. them fucking outside of a trailer park. I'm just saying the white people from the trailer park. They don't know yeah. shit outside of eight miles. But even the white call them lost. What the fuck? Is Eminem one of y'all favorite whites?
Today? Joe Budden's a hater, though. It was the old. I was, I'm okay. behind. You, you be 18 weeks behind, still I trying know. to catch up. You gotta relax. And yeah, he got some Eminem hatred and shit, because he signed him and cut him and shit, so. Who? No. Joe Budden. Yeah, he hit the sword out. No, 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 no. Joe Budden is not that pretty objective about, about it. Yeah, they listen, huh? they want. I think he be pretty objective about the Eminem shit. Man, that yeah, one episode, he talked kind of hard for for that one episode. That was extreme and shit. When he did the whole like thirty minutes, yeah. Like, and I was like, you, you can't know, give Joe, another man that much attention. Joe Button be hurt. He do. He's a very emotional man. Mm. Understandable. It's, it's the ball. Joe like. Button is one of my least favorite blacks. Damn. <laughs> wow. I mean, wow. I know like Joe Button. Wow. Yeah. The, the bottom of my yeah. Life. Joe Button. Michael yeah. B. Jordan. Oh no, Joe Button. I can't stand Michael B. Jordan. Why you hate him? Why you hate the bitches like it? Such stale acting. Oh, you see Michael B? He's trash as a actor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even whoa, like Black Panther. Like Fruit Bell. Oh, I don't either. Yeah, that's, his only, that's his only good movie. Bro, that's a true story. Creed is trash. 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 That corny ass scene when he was running and the nigga All you get is Fruit Bell. All you get is Fruit Bell, Mike. Where on the bottom of my list, though? All you get is Fruit Bell. He's just like hanging. He's just like hanging at the bottom of your list. Creed was fire, like. Rocky was yeah, good. Rocky, but okay, Creed and Rocky are two different things. Ooh, Creed is fire. That's a good movie. I ain't like the you stole Tone Trump. I ain't like that. In a second, it was fire. What the fuck? And what was wrong with Black Panther? He was the problem with Black Panther. Black Panther was like phony. Is this your king? Yeah, he was like phony and shit. Choking bitches. And that's an iconic line. Don't do that. And Hey Auntie was It was always, it was only, Hey Auntie was cool. Hey Auntie was. I liked Hey Auntie. It made me laugh. This is weird to say, but I feel like it was made by a white person. Like, I don't feel like a black person you don't know directed who, like, it. You don't know who? I know who did it. Oh, I, yeah, I know who did it. Ryan Coogler did it, but it feel of it, like the way it was directed, no, the way the dialogue. Michael B. I agree that he's not a good actor. He's, he's really I like average, average, I think. He's really bad. He's, he's not really, really bad. He's still, I can't call on, him bad. I feel like he get a lot of pads because people like the way he looks. Yeah. But like, no, if he no, was no, the no. Women build him up because he looks good. He be getting grinded up now. Yeah, he be Because he, he say a lot of dumb shit. No, I mean, even his movies. Niggas, nigga. I remember when Black Panther came out. I feel that started the awakening of him not being at, not being elite. Before, nigga, like, oh. dress, when that shit weird. first came out, niggas like, yo, he killed this shit, Joker, and I was like, this shit was ass. He was the worst yeah. part of the whole movie. Yeah, he was. And yeah. after a while, yeah, people like started saying he was the best villain, like, in Marvel. Niggas were saying that, yeah. 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 But people start saying, and then, um, something else came out after it. Um, yeah, nigga, nigga, he don't be getting praised no more. I hope they don't bring him back. In the and girls don't like him no more, because he like white bitches, so, you know, girls, that's you know, they, they don't, yeah, that's over after that. He's not interested in the okay. It's still another chance. You don't want me to you that, like, yeah. Jeez. Um. So that's only. Who's a, who's a black person on my by like near my list? You you near the whites. Dude, what about Azalea Banks? Do y'all hate her? Azalea. I don't hate her. her music. Yeah, fired. she not. Music music fired. Fired. She don't she get that from me. You know, no, I don't like crazy. Her she be snapping, but she's one of them people who be snapping. And points. then later on, you find out like, oh, she, she was, was saying some she shit. She was saying some yeah. shit. Yeah. She was right about her place. It's just her delivery, delivery that's all. Yeah. But she actually is a good artist. But she just be drawn though. She be. <laughs> she need to rebrand herself and do a young bird and shit. Just get in the background and make your money. It make. It. Yeah. I don't know what black people are doing. I really just yeah, don't really think of I'm Joe Button. I'm Joe Button. How's Joe Button a person? I don't want to say Yeah, he's cool. He should be yelling too much. I don't know. He just. I don't. I don't know. I was I listen to some of his podcasts. I'm like, all right, I listen to two hours of this. Like Joe Pusha T. I think you know what? Because Pusha T is also a black person I don't like. I think because of Drake. I Pusha think really, T. I like Drake. Pusha T is so definitely much. a rapper I don't like. Really? Whoa! His rapping. His like his, rapping. What, what you don't like about his rapping? I don't like him. I just no. feel like he's just too old to be talking about coke and Dylan and no, shit. Every like that. time he ah. like, so he got switched up at some point. Spiel, you know, you can't. No, no, that's like Jay Z was talking about coke I can respect that. Me. I can like it as long as it's still good. I feel like when people be like, yo, I need someone to evolve, I can keep liking people the same shit as long as you do. Like, Jeezy stopped doing shit well. I was well. just about to say like, Jeezy. But it's only Ross so still do the same shit well. That you can really have for, for He's really used them all. I don't think so. I, don't, I, don't I, like I think he has. There ain't that much new white shit out that you can relate to Coke and Bush should be saying some I like Bush T. Reds, but I feel like every time he talks. I feel like every time he talks <laughs> on a on a track, like every time he talks, ah, ah, all that shit. I don't fuck with it. Like he just got this cocky. So you don't with his Why can't he be cocky? No, I don't. I don't mind cocky. I just don't like this what is the TV. End of a, a thing. That's yeah. Going on. So you was just riding with Drake real hard. Yeah, I think just... I ride with like if people who did was, was against Drake. I just don't like him. Did Drake lose the beef? 
Whoop it a T. Yeah. Okay, beef? at least you can say that. The push it yeah, in a way he did. Man, that's a sneak attack. He's a rat. He's a rat beef. So what? It's, 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 it's a he got set up. He got oh, set up. Bro. <laughs> that's like you walk home and shit. Kind of like yo, push. You know he be in the very. Lyrically he lost. Musically he won. Impact he lost. Like that's all that matters. He lost the beef. He lost. He lost the rat beef, but Drake. It's still like undefeated. Yeah, like he's still knocking him down. Yeah, he ain't knocking him out. He won. He got a technical knockout. What Drake need to do is come back now. Now Pusha T about to have a baby. Let that nigga have it. Just unload the clip on that nigga. (laughs) Drake don't don't want that. He don't want it. Just unload the clip. He showed he don't want it. And W was fire. W was fire. But it was different. Like he's like. I can't he should have came back. But you think he got a voice for real, for real, bro? You take his voice away, I don't think he the same type of impact. Yeah. Pusha can't rap though. Pusha can't rap really. It's good. just like yeah. I'm just tired of it, bro. But I'm like a real clips fan, so I'm like used to the yeah. two. I, Wait, I didn't like him as much back then. I love the clips when I was a young boy. They was talking that shit. That's yeah. It. So like I'm used to them both at the same time. So that was just like pushed by itself, and it's just like. Push. Until the casket know. drops. Like, Until the casket drops. Yo. Listening to it on your way to school. Oh my god. <laughs> Look it's at so that. Um, that intro. Oh my god. Yes. The intro came for like a year and a half of life, dog. Yes. <laughs> um, another person that pop is on like a, on the bottom list of a lot of people right now. Black, black, black bottom tier. Lizzo. She's on top of my list. Yeah. I love Lizzo. My okay. friends were just talking about that. Right. I love Lizzo. Very very awesome. Awesome. I don't, really I don't like her or dislike her. <laughs> I like Big Jones, so she got my vote. I like oh, Big Jones. Chubby chasing. I'll just tell someone skinny yeah. niggas. They, be, they, they love Chubby. Oh, they show us the most love they cook for us. And the hair be amazing. They hungry. For sure. <laughs> uh, hey, you gotta say they hungry. Jeez, man. Yeah, that's my thing. Eat the dick. Jeez. That bitch is just eating. I love Lizzo. I can't mean, <laughs> Right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, man. He said she's hungry. Like, yo, everybody else. Only bad bitches cook. Like, God. First of all, he don't want that toxic. He said they cook first. He, he started yeah, like, his first yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 You I like homely. 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 Oh, no one want to describe as homely. Bitch, nobody seen this. I didn't say that. Big women are more homely than other women. So you, like, so you like you want to stay in the kitchen? I got you, kid. I don't. Super toxic. Kind of yeah. I do. I'm skinny. I gotta eat. I weigh 120 pounds. You gotta get some. You weigh 120. So you can't cook what you expect from us. That nigga is 100. That's bad. Toxic. You sound like my mom. Toxic. 120. We going there. You can't cook either. This, this I can't. I can't. Cancel culture. So I can't cook. And. I'm only going to date someone seriously that can cook. That don't mean I'm judging other people that can't cook. But why don't you know how to cook, though? I have no aspiration. Cooking is not even hard. Well, it's you know how to cook, direction. though. It's, I'm just bad I'm at it. Cool, you smoke? Oh, so you, that's what I'm saying. You never get out. Like, it don't take much of me to be satisfied. Yeah, like, too. You make some great things to be good. Peanut so peanut peanut that's why. Niggas like, what you eat without your girl cooking? Eat some grapes and apples. Eat some grapes and apples. I oh, no, don't take much from me, whatever. <laughs> and I'm not talking about. I need seven meals. You can cook three times a week. We good to go. Damn. Which is not a lot. I had a girl give me pineapples on purpose. What's wrong with pineapples? No, it's nothing wrong with pineapples. But I was like, so I was like, thank you so much. Yeah, that's exactly why she gave it to me. She was like, she was like, you a little off. I said, what are you talking about? She said, first of all, don't tell him his pH. His pH was fucked up. She gave him a whole bowl of pot. Knock these off real quick. Yeah, the fat girl trying to eat you up. This cum tastes like battery acid. I'm good. Yeah. Okay, real quick before we get back to his battery acid. But so Lizzo, right? This whole swaying of the public opinion has been interesting to watch because, like, me personally, I don't like her music, but I definitely feel like you think she got fat shame. She's clearly she getting fat shamed. Yeah. And two things can be true. Like, she shouldn't have had her ass out the Lakers game. Yeah. True. Yeah. But it was, it was, it was, a, yeah, that too. Is that old? That was old, but oh, that's still draw. Did she do like a split it. through a fucking table or something? That wasn't her own thing. Oh, I, that I, I, was I, I, crazy. I, 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 that shit had me dying. But of course, the hype of the Lakers shit was like was heightened because she's fat, though. Like, it is what it is. People like, it was Rihanna. Yeah, you can still be mad, but you wouldn't be mad for the ground. Bro, she had a hole. Saying. She had a hole in like. Well, Rihanna's ass was out, and she had crystals around it and shit. Like her it whole was a, dress it was, was like a, 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 a yeah, gal yeah, yeah. yeah. so like, or something. Yeah, yeah. So that's like, different. That shit was dumb I think it's, it's arguable on both sides, but like, why? Her twerking, I don't have a problem with anyway. You know, like, I love her energy. I love for how sure. much confidence she has. And I respect her journey. Somebody also argued like. 
is she doing all this because she's big and trying to show that she's confident? Mm. No, but and I was like, the thing right, about awesome. that, the thing about that is, it wouldn't be a conversation if she's Rihanna. That's the, yeah. that's the whole thing. Like we would, we wouldn't be talking about it. It would be like, oh, that's a look, or it's not a look. It wouldn't be oh, at your all. fat ass at the game sitting on the seats. It would never be that. And some people did come out. Yeah, nobody. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be no conversation. It wouldn't be a conversation at we all. We would not just ignore if a, sl- it if a was, slim girl yeah, yeah, did that. No, yes, we would. Like, it if Cardi be B ignored. had her ass out like that, she would get killed. It was, oh, they would grind yeah. Cardi. I just don't like up. Cardi B no more for some reason. They've been grinding Because it's new bitches out. That's what I like. I think oh, Cardi's voice is annoying. It's new bitches it's out. New so bitches if Beyonce had her ass out, they would grind Beyonce the fuck up. No, they would not. No, they would not. Not Beyonce. Oh, no. But my thing is, it would be. It would be. But I know why Beyonce would do shit like that. The shirt would fit differently. Like, the shirt and everything would be a little bit formed differently. You're just saying. It would look better. Yeah. yeah, but that. But, but what I'm saying is, we would talk about it. We talk about every. We talk about every single thing on the internet. We talk about everything. Everything is a, is a conversation. I think the conversation about Lizzo was, "You're a fat bitch. Why are you doing it?" It wasn't, "Why are yeah, you doing it?" No. It wasn't just, "Why are you doing it?" It was, "You're a fat girl. Why are you doing it?" If it was anybody else, I'd be like, "Oh, you draw a little bit." Yeah, like, yeah. Was like, oh, it's lit. <laughs> Her is just like, oh, bitch, you're going to jail. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Bitch, you're fat and doing it. Oh, really? It's not a the game. It's kids. Yo, when he didn't say the kids, I was like, y'all not relax. Y'all not give a fuck about no kids. Like, you know what I'm talking about, man? Fuck them kids. Because it's cheerleaders at the game and next to nothing. Yo, like, cheerleaders curse me all the fuck up here, guys. You don't give a fuck about them kids? That's why I knew the name. But again, just be real about it. I can admit, I don't like seeing. Fat ass everywhere, or whatever. But again, I'm not outraged by. It. I'm like, damn, she drawing. But it's not enough to like niggas is doing whole rants and threads it's and videos. It's, it's never that. Crazy. But you got like, the internet motherfuckers bored and shit for real. For yeah, you got yeah, a lot of time. They yeah. care too much. It's high. a lot of anger yeah. every time something yeah. happens. It's yeah. just so much anger. Yeah, I'm here for the jokes. Like it's really. I'm here for the jokes. It's not that deep. No, the internet's a funny place, dog. I die every time I turn my phone on. Cause not for sure, literally. Yeah. Not the Twitter. Um, <laughs> real quick, sir, about your battery ass and nut. Um, so, as a side note of the battery ass and nut, you're filming. Yes. <laughs> Talk more about it. Uh, it's called. That was a beautiful transition. Sure. Uh, How is that a beautiful transition? Robert. Batteries for your camera. You use a camera to make okay. science. Okay. Okay. You're science. a filmmaker. <laughs> it's his first time. He, he ain't even. He ain't even. You wasn't ready for this one. He wasn't yeah. ready for this one. He's he like, yeah, so like, it's better. Talk about the film, King. Like, no. Yeah, um, I make films through uh, Voice of the East Studios. Uh, I've been doing it for five years now. Um, I'm CEO and oh, oh, I run okay. things. You got boss talk. Talk heavy, chubby chaser. Uh, yeah, I love big women. Um, you prefer big over small? That's a different. Yeah, but flex. like, I'm not like. That's a different. If flex. a small girl no, like. It's not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I don't, I don't discriminate. I guess. But if it's a big joint there, I'm going for the big joint first. So you prefer? If she reject I'm, me, then this is my of course, of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've never heard that statement before. I've never heard a man say you prefer the big joint. She reject me, then I then I guess I'll go to you. Yeah, I'm just skinny bitch. Man. Boy, yeah. well, yeah, so um, how did you get into film? What are some inspirations? Um, from films? I got into film. Notable th- moments or projects? Yeah, I got into film. Um, I grew up. My grandmother had a, a, um, a theater troupe, and I was just growing up, just being around behind the scenes and watching them. I just grew up on scripts and acting. So favorite I, actor? <coughs> favorite actor is Jim Carrey. Oh, good oh, good boy, boy. Yeah, that's probably favorite Jim Carrey movie. One that's not a comedian. One that's not a comedian, too. Shia LaBeouf. My favorite oh, Jim Carrey yeah. movie is The Grinch. He definitely funny. Oh, I like your yeah, picks, sir. Yeah, yeah, you saw that show on Showtime with Jim Carrey? That's yeah, 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 yeah it's really good. It. It's really good. I be trying to tell people to watch it. They just be like, oh, let me see it. Never oh, see it. Really <laughs> I started. Like, bro, watch it. Grand. It's really good. It's really good. Okay. Um, so, what else all right, you so your granny, you checked there. Yeah, got it there. And then um, I didn't have the resources for a while. It was like 2015. I just, you know met some met the right people and they started helping me out and i started like producing their movies and stuff like that producing my own stuff then i got like more people and they wanted to get into it so i you know got in you know started doing more productions and stuff like that and um it's very stressful hmm. i will say making movies is stressful as hell a lot of moving a lot of big moving parts too like yeah, yeah. but it's like a lot is on me because i i like executive produce like 95% of every production that we do. 
So that goes into like. He said I do all the work. Mm-hmm. Pretty like, much, Shit. but it's like <laughs> I have to make sure the director has everything they need and everybody's fed <laughs> and you got to be rich and I'm not rich to do this, mm-hmm. but I try to make it work. Yeah. Um, take these pineapples. Yeah, I gotta throw pineapples. Take these pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating them. <laughs> I damn sure ain't. I like my better answer. Um, but yeah, um, I think, um, yeah, we had a good 2019, good 2018. Um, my little sisters actually are interested in doing film now, so that's a big accomplishment this year. Um, More so acting or behind the camera? Um, I'm sorry, I, I ain't heard the, You said they're interested in... Well, one one wants to act, one wants to do um, uh, cinematography. Gotcha. Cool. Um, so I, I'm, she actually said, I don't want you to produce my movie i just want you to tell me how to do it <laughs> she was like after that i'll come over right now i want to do this myself and she's only 14 and she was telling me and i was like yo you got it do it i'm proud of you man so yeah it's been it's been a fun ride so far so far and my man blair you've um talked more about this recent New phase, like better term of like new artwork you've been working on. You got oh, the hoodie shot. Man. Thank you for the Collage hoodie King. you gave me. Oh, and oh, I ain't heard that title yet, yet, man. Collage I ain't heard King. that title yet. Oh, you, oh, you got gifts. Yeah. You don't think you're yeah, a you gotta King? have gifts, man. You don't think you're a Collage King? No, bro. No, no. Cause niggas always one of the DMs and shit. I'm like, oh, this shit fire for real, for real. All right. <laughs> Very cool design. Shout out yeah. to the hoodie. Thank you. Very cool. Uh, so talk more about that, where the inspiration came from, when um, you started doing The whole that. money yeah. shit actually came from Jordan when we actually lined up to do the N4 for, for, the, for the love of money, John. Coming soon, coming soon. We have to reschedule the fuck <laughs> over. <Buckle. Yeah. laughs> and I got all new work for that, John. I'm Except quiet with the new work. But yeah, that's like really where all of it came. And I just like, when I'm doing shit, I want to like make sure like I got leading up to it is some shit with that. And, like, once the event is over, it's still something afterward that still got to do with it. It's like, I don't know, it's just part of, like, a package and shit for me, for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You watch Godfather Harlem? I heard about it. Nigga sent me the intro. That shit yeah. was wild as Every shit. time yeah. I watch I think about you, because the yeah. artwork and the collage is That shit fire. I'm actually learning how to do the whole digital shit, so I can mm-hmm. do show like that, too. That shit fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and are you still, like, what work, like... Did you just start the whole collage type shit like out of nowhere, or did it come um, to you like was it a transition from something else? Bro, I I, Jordan, he I've always been like an artist and shit. Even like with kid drawing shit, a little bit of painting here and there, or whatever. But like when I became a teenager, I just became more interested in outside. So like later on in life, I be, got a chance to double back, and yeah, um, had a shitload of Natural Geographic at my mother's house. I just started practicing from there, getting good, learning placements and things like that. So. That's yeah, cool. Aren't you coming cool. out with a comic? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, man. Perko next, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for this. Yo, I did a comic called Chains, and nobody liked it but my mom. <laughs> well, that's what I meant. Like yeah, it. that's only because <laughs> niggas was like, "Yo, how did how are you going to do a comic? Book? It was a comic book about slaves, but it was a comedy." And niggas was reading was like, "Yo, bro, you can't you can't make a comic book like this. Like, like, you can make a lot of mean. everything. Huh? Seen that B.O.B. meme? He well, he be fucking snapping. Cool. Well, he was like, yeah. "Fucking yeah. cool, <laughs> don't support me." Towards you, <laughs> <laughs> but shit. nobody liked it though. It's like they, it's like so they liked it. Executed, better? they liked it, but they was just like they couldn't believe somebody made something like this. Yeah, like, yeah, they yeah. were like, "Yo, this is it's not supposed to be funny." Bro, I was like, I was, but I was. My whole thing was, I was sick and tired of slave movies. Mm-hmm. I was, uh, and my mom and my stepdad love Roots. They like they praise Roots. <laughs> I can't stand Roots. That's I think wild. Roots is horrible. I hate roots. That's another story. But so I wanted to make something to parody Roots and all that. So I made Chains. I'm rolling. Yeah. <laughs> we released it. Yeah. It's online. Oh, I'm yeah. going to release it. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. um, <laughs> re-release it. Drop it. <laughs> let's, let's start with the, the lady first, gentlemen. Oh, Have you ever been friend-zoned? Um, not that I know of. <laughs> mm. All right. Fuck women, y'all. Because I already know, fellas. <laughs> the they think, don't got to deal with these type of things. I think it's different through. when we get friend-zoned because I, de- I definitely feel like niggas will still fuck you. <laughs> If like if I want to be your friend, just your friend, <laughs> I'll still it. And then be your friend. And then be your friend. Yeah, like, yeah, are we cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. homie? <laughs> oh, yeah, my dog. Yeah. Levels yeah, in the friend zone. You, you're not. Yeah, yeah, but you get friends with my girl. You're not. You're yeah. definitely. You're not platonic. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've seen the mountain. I'm about to ask it the first Okay, yeah, okay. I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, yeah. so but I'm definitely. Yeah. But that's not the friend zone. I think because y'all women be changing your minds, but. 
it was just a circumstance that's how they would get out of there. People change their mind. It's just women. Niggas change their mind all the time. Niggas been wanting to hit. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't change. It wasn't like been. It was like if you would have ever asked yeah. if they to sit down, it would have been. Yes. So like y'all regardless. think. No, I don't think that every girl has. No, oh, never mind. I don't know. Mm-hmm. No, say what you want to say. I'm interested in hearing this. Because men always say women who have guy friends, it's like. I bet you all of them want to fuck you. I don't okay, think that's, that's true. not true. That's not true. No, no, no. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, I think all that's right. two different things. Two different sentiments. Because I got female friends, I really do not want to fuck. But yeah, are you Other sexually are not sexually attracted? But are you? Ch- they cute. Oh, okay. But I'm just not attracted. Some guy said that he was just like, well, she's ugly, so no, I don't want to sleep with your friend. That is a bulk of it, but that is the uh, the big, gist of yeah. it. No, but some of my female friends just annoying as shit. They my yeah. friends. Yeah. And I'm like, and I they, can't imagine hitting. Yeah. Like, and they threw it at you. You're like, no, you're no, just too annoying. You are way yeah. too annoying. Not, not even annoying. Just like, I see how you treat the niggas that you really like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really trying to be one of them. I have zero competitive spirit now, dog. That shit is out the window. I am broken. <laughs> I'm not with it. You gonna meet me halfway? Talk about the time y'all been friend zone, fellas. Kings. Kings. I, I spent like ten years of my life just getting friend zone. Oh. <laughs> yes, really? I only start. It's because you're barbers. <laughs> <laughs> the correlation. Uh, the uh, it's all coming together now. I'm a hashtag. No, because I was no, because I grew my hair out, so it didn't even matter. It didn't matter. I feel like it was. I feel like I really didn't start really getting pussy till I was like 22. Like I had sex with the first time when I was like 14. I didn't have sex again until I was like 18. Drowsy. Yeah, and then way 14 and 18. Yeah. There's so much other yeah. shit going it was, on. I was, in the, I, was, I was in the shit to go I was in the shit to go on. I was in the shit to go on. I was in the shit. 14 is but like, pretty young. When I was like 22, oh, I was like, all right, this, this, I know how to talk to girls it's now, time. I think. And then I started. <laughs> you and then. Virgin. From the <laughs> Not that it's time, it's though. Time. Like, but like, everything is possible. The <laughs> sun start rising yes. and shit. Come up like this. <laughs> like, hey, Simba. <laughs> everything they like to touch us. Everything like, they like to touch us. You can't yeah, but like, uh, but also like what Shay was saying is like, I also had a lot of women friends who, not that I wanted to have sex with, it was just like I always had women friends. So like, that also was a deterrent for women because women was like, oh, that's your girlfriend. I'm like, no, that's my friend. And it's hard to make, like, girls always think that the girl that you run the most is your girlfriend. It's like. No, like really, that's just my friend. That's like, my homie. But like, I always had women friends. Like, I re- like I had two male friends, and they was my only niggas I really hung out with for a lot of my life. So like, when I was with them, gr- I could talk to girls. But then when I was with my other women friends, I really couldn't talk to girls like I really wanted to. So, but wow, I always you were with them. I all but I like I, I always had a lot of women friends. Like I would be one the one nigga with a bunch of girls. Oh, okay, I get bitches that don't hit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they be around. Yeah, they they, they be around. They here, bro. No, you over there. And that's what happened. Yeah. I really just don't oops. I really just had a lot of friends who was like, Oh, you always with the girls and I was like His man's was knocking him down. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, no, you gotta be Chris Paul someday. <laughs> like, right, not for <laughs> me. Like, but, like, like, years. Years. I was just yeah. going for like years. Uh, some years is wrong. Like the league of assists, like eight years in a row. Chris Paul for years. Yo, low key quiet as cat. Yo, I'm like, I'm really John Stockton though, like, dude. Like, even of course, I never had drought, drought years, but like, just like, I've been, like, I've been brown with it though. Drought years sound crazy. I've been brown with it, like, yeah. points and assists though, like, especially like, even through the podcast shit. Like, oh, yeah, who was that guest? Oh, Jesus. Who was that? Like, yeah, like, yeah. That's how you. Oh, yeah, you got like, over the show and you're really back. Yeah. Oh, that shit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, yeah, screen pass. I've definitely been, been, I've been Jason Williams a lot of times. Like, all right, I know I can't do nothing with this one. Here you go, bro. Yeah. <laughs> King. King. But that shit that shit gonna get annoying. Like, niggas really do girls dirty, and then you got to hear about it. Like, why would you, like, tell me that? All right, a good nigga. you can't throw those oops, though. But, no, yes, at least if you fuck with the girl to certain. But time. girls like toxic niggas. All so my friends I, are trash, I, I, so they should already know. I feel do. like if you fuck with me and you know me, my friends are like men ten like times worse than me. Yes. Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah. I love like crazy you treat them Puerto Rican women. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, but not mine. That's argument. Multiple <laughs> points. Multiple <laughs> points. <laughs> First. You said Puerto Rican women? I love crazy women. So you hate black women, what you're saying. Yeah, that's wow. what you're saying. Oh, you like fat, so you black, like Puerto Rican women? No, 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 no. And those are the ones that's going to be. After that first abortion, they going to blow right up. I knew you smelled like a different type of They don't even need the kid. They don't even need the kid. Okay, listen. I like big Jones that are black. 
But I like Spanish Jones that are skinny. Wow. That's okay. Somewhere in there. 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 Somewhere once the cameras go, I ain't gonna criminate myself. Oh, yeah, you so, know, you're so you be here. fucking around. Hashtag <laughs> Ike and Tina. The Ike is first. Like, yeah, so the revenge. Oh, oh so yeah. when the phone come out, that's when the Tina works. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna let her get her. Yeah, revenge. Yeah. She it got be, it. It be when you get some haircuts. You go in there, start. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really what it be. She be hating on me, like, because uh, the bitches be on me. So uh, I get home. Uh, the bitches be on me. That's a fact. Uh, <laughs> no, no drought, no friend zone. No friend. <laughs> you said, fuck out of here. But yeah, but no. Okay. But seriously, like, bitch, like, I got friends that really got crazy girlfriends, like, where it's, like, different. Like, yeah. bitch, call your phone 90 times type shit yeah. and break shit and be crying abruptly in public. No mm-hmm. shit. Where it's, like, really, no. you can't even go out with them because you know they're going to get into some shit. The I've never seen you at peace out in yeah. public. That's. Yeah, that's that's wrong. That's right. And I feel niggas do. Like, my man, he really told me straight. He looked me dead in my eye sockets, and he was like, "Yo, cute. How I'm gonna know if she loved me? She not crazy like this. That's, that's true. true. No, was, that's no, y'all true. just been and I was like, way. No, King, no. King. <laughs> you do not love yourself better. You, you, got, you, got, you got crazy, crazy for me. I need that's that why I need, That's how you accept love. Yo, I was really like that. I was like, you crazy? No. I really was like that. I really love what crazy women feel like. Very early on, I was like, I love women who just was like a little out their mind. I realized that's something wrong with me. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not something wrong with them. It's something yeah. wrong with me. Because I was like attracted to it. Like, if you but stalk you, me, you acknowledge the fact nice. that you know it's something wrong. But she wrong brought it up. It's like, like so it's, it's kind of like, like my mom is crazy too, though. You know what I mean? Mom, I, I would never date my mom. I'm just saying, I used to get beat for I used to get beat for the dumbest stuff. No, not stuff. like that, but. What you mean? No, no, you. I'm oh, talking oh, about Q, not oh. like this. So I'm saying, like, I know my mom is crazy, yeah. so I won't even date a person like my mom type shit. And she's still having this type of crazy though. Like I that, think they like, like my mom's so chill. I think that's why I like crazy shit. Yeah. No, I seen my dad, I seen my mom talking my dad before, but like one time and he deserved it. So like. I ain't know how to really feel. It really now I think about it, it was hilarious. Bro, you gotta bring that up every cookout. Like, I do. Like, 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 really, he, 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 I really do. I, do. I really. He like, felt it too. Like, it was like he shook it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, he. Was, we was in a car. She was arguing well, my son. Car. Oh, <laughs> like, he parked in the car. He parked in the car. Sock him. I'm like, I'm like, all right. He really deserved. It. He was talking shit. Said something. He ate that jaw, but like he really got something. <laughs> he he felt like, it. He's checking his lip, like oh, I believe yeah, it. Yeah, 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 but like he knew it. he deserved it, so like it really wasn't nothing to say. But <laughs> thinking about that, like <laughs> I do need a woman to check me like that. Like if I'm drawing, well, I mean, like don't don't it. punch me, don't yeah, punch me, I be drawing, don't so yeah. punch me. But like check me. All right, all right. <laughs> New topic now. How do y'all niggas be drawing that y'all might need to be punched? Yeah. What you be doing, King, to these white bitches, ugly white bitches with fat asses? Bro, I, I just play too much. Like, I joke all the time, yeah, like, same. nonstop. That's it? Yeah, yeah, it annoys them. You need to be punched? Yeah. Yeah, I need to be slapped. I have been slapped. You just, just want to get slapped.
But I feel like that's my big problem. And a lot of women be like, Jordan, you, you was acting like this yesterday. Now you acting like this today. Ain't nobody it's a, it's a new day. <laughs> I feel nobody different. Nobody yeah, yeah. that. You don't know what oh, that's but real shit. Especially, I, like, I know y'all can relate. Like, when you're creative... Like, you have your days, you know what I'm saying? When you working maybe, like, no, three days straight, no, right. and then you want that break, and, like, you don't want to talk. That's how I'm at home. Like, my roommates don't understand that. that. At the beginning. I try to. But when you communicated at the beginning, four months later, that shit out the window, and now you're yeah. all aggressive it's, and mad, but, like, I warned you. Expectations go, go change over the course of a relationship, and I feel like. That's why communication is mm-hmm. But women communicate very different, because it's like. They don't. It's like it's cool. Yeah, it's like it's cool at first. Yo, we listen, listen, no, no, no. Y'all talk. You read my it, mind it's cool at first, first and then y'all let it build up, build up, build up, build up, build up, build up, and then you blow up. You like you ain't. Or maybe that's just the women you're dealing with, because that just sounds like it's just a pattern. That's not how all women are. That is it. That is a point. No, it's something wrong with me. Yeah, I'm talking to my you therapist about it, but I'm talking about women don't communicate because nigga, we communicate. I don't say, I don't say niggas don't be listening. I say communicate weird. I know I don't listen. I don't listen. I've been listening. Y'all niggas not hold me down in here. God damn, I'm coming to everything in here. I'm taking every deal from the DA. Tell, tell, tell. Yeah, I did this shit. Yeah, I did it. I'm definitely at the fucking point. Open shut case. Um, but toxic traits. So he said he's hot and cool. What are y'all toxic traits? Starting with you, Mrs. Let's oh, yeah, hear it. Great and shit. I don't have any toxic traits. Uh, 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 just, just by communicating with you for the past month, I see all your toxic traits. What's my toxic traits? Read her all of them. Revenge. 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 Is this how you want to bring them up? Then that's fine. Read her. Okay, let's talk about that's it. That's your second toxic trait. Bad time. I'm yes. bringing the things up. Oh, but yeah. right now. <laughs> that would be <laughs> horrible. It's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. Q for art by still don't happen next year. It's uh, not. Look what you're doing. Shit is over. It's, it's, it's not happening next year. Period. And she did everything too, so it is. <laughs> Do my own. Shit gonna be called Art Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jordan broke up. Shit so come to my shit. Shit gonna be called Art Bashir. Art Bashir. Yeah. Shit gonna be called Art Bashir. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's so what? What's what's my toxic trait? Name no, one. She just, she's just a sage. She's just a sage. So you a sage? She's just sad. So Everybody calm down. Run. So yeah. No. So run. So sad people are just like <laughs> distant, right. like uh, very distant from the people that they love. In a, uh, and it's like, are, are we? I feel like no, I am. I, I, I am distant. You, you know what? Yes, I am distant. A lot. Of, I don't call my friends. I don't. Mm. But. And that shit is annoying. It is. A, it, <laughs> it, that shit is the toxicity is just leaping out now. I'm agreeing. I don't. And sometimes I just feel like I don't really be having nothing to talk about. <laughs> But it ain't the fact that you guys have something to talk but about. I do it's the check fact on that you're my talking. I, I check friends. on them. I'll hit them up like, hey, it's been a couple weeks. What you doing? How you been? <laughs> but I, it's some people I feel like I don't have to talk to every day. Mm-hmm. No, and no, I, I don't know if it had nothing to do with me being only child. Maybe I'm just saying this. Child, child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just yeah. be chilling. Like, I don't really don't mind being. But I feel like when people see me, I'm with somebody. Yeah. I'm always with somebody. So, fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I am distant and I don't. No, fuck out of here. <laughs> Super toxic. We got it. Good job, girl. Um, no, what's your toxic. besides yeah, battery acid? That's, that's, that's really toxic. That's, 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 that's literally just, toxic. I just joke too much. I just wait too much. Way too much. I joke. I was like, so I you, can't you be serious. You really be joking. Like, yeah. I, at, I, at funerals and shit, I guess. Like, like, you want to <laughs> Yo, you know, it's crazy. You just brought that up. You make a slave comedy. No, I, I went to a funeral last you know, year. I, too much I went to a funeral last year and my uncle died. And I mentioned to my cousin something funny that my uncle did. We was cracking up. And my mom smacked crap. That's not that bad, though. You're like looking at. It was like a bad memory or something? No, it was a good memory. It was just funny. Remember you touched the cousin? Like, Wait a minute! Oh, 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 I, I hear that like I got a uh, big ego and like I'm kind of arrogant. Are you? Mm. You hear that? I feel myself. Right, that's what they say. <laughs> that's I feel what they myself. Where the street? <laughs> <laughs> the streets is talking. But like I think that's about it. I play a lot, but I don't get too many uh, complaints about the complaint about the plan. But yeah. 
Yeah. I definitely feel myself a lot, and it happens. What do you mean by you feel yourself? You be just talking shit all the time? Yeah, I talk a lot of shit. I like, talk bitch, a lot of shit. I don't need you. I'm shit. that nigga. I'm yeah, sorry. I, I, I definitely had a bad time to come on the podcast. You're yeah. like, nigga, why the fuck I talk to you? Like, I like that word. Damn, Blair. <laughs> Like yeah, fuck that pocket. So fuck that. Like, like, I didn't know y'all were gonna be here. If I knew y'all gonna be here, I'd be like, all right, we in there. But... <laughs> so fuck you. I'm, I'm like, you trying to talk by yourself? I'm like, yeah. weird shit, though. No? <laughs> but we do got, we do got get up with Q. This is his 201st episode. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, oh, thank you. 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 Consistency, my name is. I'm so proud of you. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Except Blair. Blair said, I'll go to 200. I'll have you 500 here. I would have been at 200. Niggas made 200. He said five, though. Like, I ain't at like three or four. You should have been doing two podcasts a week. Niggas made 200. 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 Niggas made most. A small minority, microscopic, if you will. Uh, my toxic <laughs> trait might be like people. A lot of people say I, um, I never think. I never want to say when I'm wrong. Yeah, I can see that. Legend. Whoa, <laughs> King! Like after you just gave me the shout out, he was insane. They say turn I, on you quick as you sit. Wow! Second time you straight. Niggas are turning wow, yeah, quick. Okay. Real quick. Yeah, I ain't fucking with the bulls. <laughs> Rico type <laughs> niggas. It's the oh, only the ones that's closed. Oh, wow. The ones that's closed. Wow. 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 Wow.
you should, relationship. You should love them in a way. It don't got to be the the infatuation love or the that that mutual love of like that's your, my girlfriend. But you should definitely love them. And I think I love everybody, like you were saying. But I I think the big thing, you really should be in love with somebody you, you plan on spending your life with. Cause like I can't, I guess I, I imagine like imagine imagine being with a with a rich person and they you, they just give you money and that's your that's your whole thing. That's how you that would you prefer that? No, 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 no. It's not about money. Um, I feel like when you get in or me, I really like you and I don't want you to date nobody else. And you don't want me to date nobody else. We have fun together. We have a great time together. And that's why we became boyfriend and girlfriend. No, not th- not that we have a certain level. Of I mean, or... it's all the stuff in between, of course. Of course, of course. But, but you can have like that I'm without sure. being like, oh, do I, do I love this person? Yeah, but I, I, I didn't, I never in the beginning felt like I'm in love with him. I want him to be my boyfriend now. Like, I. I'm no, like, that's the bitch for I, you right there. I, I gotta, <laughs> love, I gotta be in love with you for, for like, if I'm really gonna take that step, because, like, I could be single. Like, right. And I, I love being single. Yeah, being, being single, single is fu- chill. Yes. Single is and I'm not going to do that. I feel like that's why. Because, like, no, you worth it. And, and I'm not going to say, like, it's going to be forever. Cause I, I don't know. I but I'm definitely that. good with being today. And if there is oh, a super sappy time. And if there is no tomorrow. Right. He was here to come. And, and that's, type shit, though. Like, that's yeah. how I feel about all my relationships. That's what I tell a lot of people. When, when they date somebody, is like, like a lot of my friends, I'm like, Enjoy what you got now. Like it don't gotta be, mm-hmm. it don't gotta be the most fantastic yeah. thing in the world. But enjoy that. It don't gotta be your boyfriend or gonna be your girlfriend. But enjoy it. Don't say, oh niggas ain't shit, so I'm not gonna fuck with them. Mm-hmm. Or bitches ain't shit, so I'm just gonna smut her out. Like it's that. It's that type <laughs> shit where it's like, it's right. like you don't, right. you don't gotta. You you can really like enjoy the time you got with somebody. And even if it's gonna end bad, even if it's gonna just have watch a, me, watch me. That's stuff literally stuff that's what I was thinking. Bad, though. Everything. No, if if it ends, it's a tragedy. Not like, really. Damn. Not not really. Really. No, stuff ends and it's not a tragedy. It just people just go their separate ways. Maybe I just don't. Yeah, want to sir. Do there much. is probably the closest thing you can get to an amicable split, where it's like, because like, you know they say, <laughs> <laughs> like, like the I, heart I see something different now. I'm they say the heart never break even, <laughs> but I feel like it could be the such thing like you know 55, 45 type thing, whatever 64. And you can be like, all right, yeah, all right. I was, I wanted to be here more than you possibly, but yeah. we mutual, we feel out, whatever. But I do think that's like a rarity. I think probably most of the time it is probably a sense of tragedy. Yeah. Or something or just, happened or like you, one person is more devastated than the other. Like it's okay, a sense of devastation. Yeah, and you're going to miss that person. A lot of times you're going to miss that person or miss what they had. Even sure. if for two minutes, even if for a second, it's like you're still going to miss that yeah, person. Yeah, because if you're used had. to somebody that's, and they're not around anymore. Because you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't have kept doing it if you ain't like what you had. You yeah, know for sure. Even if it's just one nut. It, that more that next morning we leave, it's like damn, that's the last time I'm gonna do that. You gonna mourn it and then you gonna move on to that. Morning, 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 are you okay? Are you in a good space to be you know like what? this and that? And he's like, yo, we're not a fucking business transaction with friends. No, no, no. I thought it was a fair me, I do that with my friends. Yeah, I'm the friend that with my friends. Me and my too. friend, especially my friend Lon, I feel like my he's one of my closest friends. And he under our relationship is really good. We're just like, we both go through stuff back and forth. But sometimes I'm going through something and he is too. And he'll call me like, I'm really going through something right now. Like, can you, do you have like, time to listen to me like can you and i'll say yeah sometimes it'll be like i, I can't take it right now like mm. can we talk tomorrow so i feel like you can because sometimes people going through their own shit mm. with me i am but i'm always da- like i'm for the most part i'm down to listen but but you have said like no nah, i can't yeah right like not right now like i have yeah, to I ever denied anybody and shit well my friends i gotta pull out of them but they so fucking tough and hard for no fucking reason i'm like mm. i can clearly see you going through some shit yeah man. what's up with you and they're like, oh, you know, da, 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 da. 
Yeah, but people should start really getting into express, especially to your friends. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, express yourself. It's, know, it's really okay. I, my friends know I don't answer the phone in the first place. So, like, <laughs> when you see me, you know <laughs> I'm good. No, you know I'm good. <laughs> Never. No, <laughs> you, yo. <laughs> He's not the only one. That's I why I did all the work. Like the nigga answered the phone. <laughs> Yo, I literally call you back 35 minutes. Oh, right. I don't want to talk no more. Hey, you know Sean, right? Yeah. You know Sean? Yo, yeah. she's always on Do Not Disturb. Me I too. call Sean. I be like, bro, what if I was dying? What if I was getting raped or something? You would still she be doing this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not calling nobody. You don't call me. I'm calling all It's over. Who is that's like the first <laughs> person there? How do, do, do. I want to get there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to call the Uber that calls me. None of y'all niggas got will. I'm not trying to put no blood in the Uber. They're going to charge me for that shit. No. no. no one one. Excuse me. But I feel like I protect my peace from my friends enough that like if you see me, I'm usually good enough to take on whatever you got. Like I, That's how I protect my peace. Before I'm not disturbed. I work on my art. I do the things I, do, I love to do on my time. And then when I see you, if like again, my friends don't always see me. They see me when um, I pop out, mm-hmm. and I say I hit them up like, "Oh, y'all trying to do something? All right, let's do that." But I'm not the person who you can call twenty four seven because I just don't make myself available. Because I have been the person who has been twenty four seven available, yeah, that's tired, and that drained me way too much. Right. So now I'm my. I used to be the boy who texted back immediately. Now I'm just like, don't. You Was it because you had a lot of female friends? Oh, I know yeah. men typically yeah, aren't even experts. Is so I was wondering. Too. We're very the at friends. Yeah. One, see, a lot of my friends, I don't. We don't talk every day, but it's one of my friends. Her name's Lily, and we talk every day. But I feel like it depends on the friendship. Yeah. Like her, we talk every day. My other friends, I don't be that heavy. Yeah, uh, one of my friends, I see her maybe once a month. We'll go out, have a good weekend together, and I won't see her till the next month. Yeah. So it's funny you said about your man's because so one, um. I'm not. You, I don't really need to unload a lot. Whatever. It's not. A lot of shit don't really bother me that deeply to really be like a un, uh, sure. venting type thing. So he whatever. Says the nigga needs therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty stable. <laughs> but, um, Pretty stable. <laughs> but I have been recently in trying to like think about like because my me and my like my male friends more so we don't have like I'm not like a some people are natural. I don't feel this is a bad trait, but they're naturally like priors. Like they like you said, you can notice it in a person like, yeah. oh, what's really going on?" Cuz I know my friends. Right, and that's yeah. good. Me, I'm not naturally like that. It's like I've like I'm like a whatever, nigga. No, no. If you say it, we can talk about it cuz because me, I know the way I work. If I want something, if something on my mind, I'm gonna say it. Right. If I have a story to tell something to me, I just naturally say, it. but I know a lot of people aren't naturally like that. So it's hard for me to be like this nigga probably something else deeper. We just talking about sports right now, watching the game. But he probably got something else. So I don't actually. So I'm just thinking about like maybe I should start trying to really like. Oh, what's really going on? Let's get not like try to pull it out of you more. Whatever. Right. I know men do be having a lot of shit bottled up, yeah. and everybody yeah. isn't it's as natural. Yeah, and I think the big thing is you just extra friends. Like, yo, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Instead of like, oh, the Sixers ass. Like, just change the subject. Like, yo, what's going on? How you feeling? And, 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 and my closest yeah. friend, we are natural like that. We both whenever something happened. Call me, I can call him, this and that. Right. And that, because that's my closest bond, yeah. I kind of be having that subconsciously to think and oh, project it onto everybody else. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's only mine. You say it. But then when certain people start going to shit, I hear about it later. I'm like, oh, man. It's crazy. Why you didn't tell yeah. me? No, not even that. But I'm thinking like, damn, you could have told me if it was that deep, whatever. Mm-hmm. But Sometimes you know. people also don't want to be a burden. And some people think that they're a burden when they got a problem. So and, I, and also, I never even yeah. felt like to that point of like, but also, again, I deal with niggas who probably don't be saying shit, but I never felt like, yo, I'm fucking overwhelmed, goddamn. Niggas, <laughs> niggas, <laughs> niggas, <laughs> niggas gonna do mad <laughs> shit this week, damn. But to the point of having fun doing disturb, I do because there's a few people, there's only a few people I talk to, like, you know, co- regularly, and whenever we talk, it's like an hour conversation or whatever. And I'm thinking, like, let's say you talk to one person, you know, all right, cool, like, I just got home, chilling now, hour conversation, like, nine o'clock, I can relax now. Then they call the other person called too. He's like, "Do I really want to have another hour long conversation?" No, I'm trying to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like, I'll call you back tomorrow. We can talk community. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that'd definitely be a thing, though. Um, protect your peace, people. Protect your peace. Um, fellas, you yes. have a child. What do y'all think about the? <laughs> You have a child. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, what you know what's about? funny? I saw his. You I saw, are not I saw your him child. tweet today when he was like, "No, I do have a son." I didn't know you have a child. It was funny when he tweeted it. Like, no, I do have a yeah, child. Yeah. But um, so me, me and one of my friends we had this conversation about like the stereotype that a lot of dads aren't, even when they're not deadbeats, they aren't present, like active dads. It's like they kind of play the backseat, and a mom do like all like domestic type things because they ha- they naturally have like you know stereotypically. The more nurturing type shit, whatever. And they go to more things. A lot of single fathers. Yeah, shout out to single dads. Sure. Shout out mm-hmm. to single dads. So, just asking y'all, do y'all think y'all personalities 
what do y'all think about that thought? Y'all think y'all be the more active? Y'all see yourself being on the go following the woman's lead and, you know, your experience of being a father? Talk to me. I'm just a caretaker type bull, so I'm automatically going to, like, want to be involved 100%. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Whatever you think you're doing, I'm going to do that shit, too. So it's not going to be you do this, that, and the third. I do that. Yeah, because what were you even saying? It was like, yo, women got to do all this shit. got to work and come home, deal with the kids, and the man just be there. I'd be like, the man just be there. Like, what is that? Because I can't, not say I can't wait to have kids, but I know that I'm a one to be super wait. involved yeah. and just constantly be with my child. Like, it's like, it's not going to be a thing I'm babysitting. Like, it's not, yeah. you know, whatever. I think the thing, but I think it's also a personality thing. Well. I don't really think about it. Like, I guess for me, like, it's just something that, it's a responsibility. Like, it's like paying mm-hmm. bills. Like, all that. Not to say it's not a fulfilling responsibility. Gotcha. You know, your son is a cell phone. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like, it's a loving responsibility, but at the same time, it's like the stuff that people see with kids is like, it's, it's all the stuff to I'm do. Getting it. It's just a responsibility. <laughs> no, but, no, but it's another it's, thing it's, I gotta do with my check. <laughs> 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 my hair is today. My son to school check. No, but look. Yeah. I get it, bro. I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's yeah, like, it is like, <laughs> I want you to know it is like that. So it's not even something like like it was one time I was with my son. We went to the park and some shit, and the old head was like, "I see you with her young fella. Take care of your kid." I was like, "Nigga, I, I went to the park too. The fuck, yeah. like, <laughs> like I I didn't know how to respond. I, I brought him here. Like, <laughs> brought, I was going. I was going already. I'll be here to watch me. I'm here to follow me. I'm like chill, chill. <laughs> but like, it's not nothing I really think about. Like. I went to Old Navy, I got my son got my shot oh, in the morning. Oh, like that's that's, 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 that's the that's 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 now this is what I got to do, you know, like, it's not something I, I always am, like, thinking about, like, people are like, oh, you got a son, like, yeah, like, it's, it is something that, something that, that, to me, it's like, it's like having a little brother, or little sister, do you think about it, like, it's, dope, yeah. it's like, no, it's a part of your family, it's somebody you, right. you love, you take care of, you feel me, so, for me, yeah. I'm very, very much like, but I'm nurturing in that way, so I don't, it's, to me, it's very easy for me for me to step into the dad role. I've always been wise. Always been the front that had the advice. You said always been wise. Mm. Yeah. And but like oh, my, my, my son, the, thing, the thing about the thing about having a three year old son though is that like I can't really they talk to him. Like he can't really understand like the wisdom. Mm. He kind of I feel like trying to drop some knowledge. Yeah, I can't even drop knowledge on my on my son yet. And like it's gonna it's gonna be dope when he's actually listening to me or. When he's not listening to me, like whatever he whatever he decides to do, mm-hmm. like he might, this nigga swear he. <laughs> I know, my son, probably son, do be saying that. My son probably do be on that. Looking at his pole, just give me my pajamas, bro. We tell her all these words. <laughs> but that's exactly that's exactly it. Like I don't know if he's gonna listen. So geometric shapes. <laughs> yes, making art politics and shit. Give me my damn crayons back, Dad. <laughs> I can't wait to be a dad. I can't wait to be a dad. I can't wait to be. I work with kids. I've been working with kids for ten years, so. I yeah, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I feel like I'm you, ready. You be done in the ugly white jobs? No. Oh, I'm just curious. Like, I'm, I'm ready for the early part of the I don't give a fuck about that teenage year. No. Shit, little bad no. Only black. Only black women get the wrong thing. Only black women get the wrong thing. So you trying to impregnate. So you just trying to impregnate the black woman. Yes. Not the Spanish woman or nothing like that. I respect it. Okay. I mean, you know what? Whatever flow shit. It's a lot that goes into it. <laughs> we impregnate the black. <laughs> 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 Leave me that shit too. Oh, I hate that meme. <laughs> what the fuck you say? You said something. Uh, You're not thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what? You said something. Huh? Whatever. Yeah. Um. So y'all already for? Well, y'all already for kids. Yeah, I'm, I'm How about ready. you, butter? I can't yeah, wait. I, ain't, I ain't gonna say I'm ready. Mommy, butter. I'm good. I'm not. I'll be excited. Like, I'm whatever. good off kids. I'm good off kids. Yeah. That's a sad journey. Yeah. I, I am very selfish. Well, I like, to, I like to get up and do whatever I want no, to do. A child oh. is a big responsibility, <laughs> and that's not something that I'm really excited about. You know what's funny about that? I was having this conversation. 
a lot of people's gut reaction to that sense of like, oh, you're selfish. Da, da, da. Yeah, but it's I think most people, yeah, I think world. most people that have kids is only out of a narcissistic selfish reason. Like it's really like most is like I just want to have a mini version of myself. I just want to instill like, I mean, shit that I did wrong or did because... right into you and make a better version. It's really a lot of times just narcissistic. Yeah, I'll be out having a good time and it'll be like people are like, oh my god, I wish I was there. I had to my kid or. I don't want to be that person. Not right now. But the thing is, I don't really feel like I'm missing out on shit because, like, I had, I had fun. My thing, my, my, the only thing I kind of wish I had back is my mornings. Like, that's the only thing I, I feel like having a kid has took away from me. Like, I can't really sleep Just being a fucking way. <laughs> you can't dress yourself, man. <laughs> 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 you ain't figured out yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's really, it's like, I feel like I used to, I, I never got that feeling of missing out of having a kid. Like, I still, it's easy Not to get a babysitter. It's easy to. Out. It is a difference. It's Not definitely me. something else you got to do, though. Like, yeah. So I another don't another error. Yeah. But like also I'm, I'm, I'm always <laughs> another error. <laughs> the word, the word, I, I, I've I'm always I always been an uh, artist, so like I really never had no responsibility like go into a job and work nine to five. I never had no responsibility like that. So like having a kid was like my a oh, wake up call for me. Like I gotta do something, like I have to do something, like I didn't have to do shit before I had a son, like literally nothing. Like the real world. I gave a man with him. Like he shit himself again. Like this happens. <laughs> Every day, to the yo. <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, so I, it was a, it was a really a wake up call. Like, it's funny you say about the urge thing. I often, I sometimes think about that, where it's like certain people when they have a kid, it kind of puts them in a hole because they don't kind of like adjust to the newfound urgency. Well, other people, it put them in overdrive. Like, yo, I gotta, yeah. this shit, my responsibility now. This, shit, I'm not gonna fail, and they go fucking running. So I think about the high. Yo, some people need people. that extra push though. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I need the like like original like motivation and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This will be floating. I'm already motivated. I'm cool. It's okay. Fuck them. Fuck them kids. <laughs> fuck them kids for um, sure. <laughs> y'all had big areolas. No, <laughs> it don't really matter. Depends Actually, on the color. No, it don't matter. Yeah, mm. depends on the color. Really? Yeah, yeah. It don't matter the color. It don't really matter. It don't matter the color. I, I, color. Like albino. You like white bitches. How would you mean so color? Albino. Whatever no, you because pull like, out white bitches. I'm like, saying like white bitches are hot in the color matter. Oh, yeah, you're right. Like, whatever you pull out that brown, very, very, very whatever. Ah, <laughs> preach. Yeah. Whatever it is. And I was like, oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Very interesting. I'm sorry, sometimes it's just like a huge areola, like a small nipple. And like the titty be big, so you got like fun and shit. It'd be like over here sometimes. Yeah, it's game. I just don't flat chest. What'd you say? I don't like flat chest. Be boring. Those kind of fire. I mean, I mean, you can't really do shit with a titty for real, for real. They hanging, they cool. (laughs) Put it in my mouth and watch Netflix. Casual shit. <laughs> like a super big titty. Like, <laughs> Pop it in, right? Yeah. Just, so y'all like ass over titties? I like yeah, titties yeah, over ass. Titties yeah. over ass. Titties over ass. I'm, I'm the minority. I'm, I'm the ass titty. over titties guy. Oh, you say titty? Yeah, I'm a titty man. Oh, you, did just, you did just say the whole Netflix. Mm. I'm more of a pretty face guy, though. So if you got a pretty mm. face, I'm definitely going to be here. Question. So I had a whole debate about pretty face today. Yeah. Mm. Who's prettier? Lori Harvey, Lauren London. Lauren London. <laughs> It's hard. So how do, y'all hard deter- how do y'all determine? How y'all determine? All right, because Lauren London, she bad, where, where but are she bad. Like you, you can see her in the neighborhood somewhere. Like I she agree. Bad, don't run away. I agree. Lori Harvey, she just like Damn, star just sexy and shit. Like you probably see her. Like if she in Philly, you only go to her right. South Street or just doing some upscale shit. Coming out of some expensive restaurant or some shit like that. So you can catch fucking Lauren London at Max's. She uptown. Yeah. She uptown. I'm sure. <laughs> But just to face, I, I just think, you know, I think Lauren is definitely pretty, but I think Lori, she one of the prettiest yeah. girls out in the to game. me right now. I don't see yeah. like, oh, it's, it's, she's one of the pretty new bitches out, so that's what I'm talking that's about. New yeah, the new bitches in the Yeah, she's definitely a new bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are catching right. ADHD. Career high. <laughs> rookie season. <laughs> Who do you think pretty good? 42. I, I like Lauren London. I think Lauren London, she mm. got a, she feel like a real person more than Lori Hardy. Uh, I get what you're saying. Mm. And then she until because we from the ATL era and we know how she fucked shit up at that time in the world. Everybody like, oh, that, she's so bad. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. And that was a wild time. Um, I was pissed with Wait, wait, party. back to big uh, titties though. Yeah, but someone told me it was like, yeah, big areolas, they don't like me at all. And I was like, baffled, but I'm like, to just not like it? I was like, wow. 
I mean, ain't no reason to not like it. It don't yeah. really do nothing. I'm it sucking not with like it. everything your shirt does. Whatever. You whatever. Never seen, <laughs> no, never seen though. a bad titty? But never in my life. Wait. A bad titty? Yeah, What's a bad, bad titty? I've Wait, seen I've seen titties. a bad titty before. <laughs> What's a, it depends. What's a bad titty, though? Yeah. Like, what are we describing as bad titty? Oh, like, what's y'all saying is a bad titty? You ever, seen a titty? you ever seen a titty that hang like this and then a nipple like here? Oh, oh bro. <laughs> bro. You ain't have to, bro. What's the titty? You ain't have to. You ain't have to. He said a hunter. So basically, you gotta go under to suck the titty. I guess you gotta really lift it up. But that's the spare some. But even, but still, I'm gonna suck it because that's what you got. That's what you got. That's what we sucking. Don't pull it out. I'm gonna tell you all right. Don't pull it out. 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 I can't suck it. I just can't. I, bro, I can still hit it. You gonna suck it, though. Bro, you gonna suck it, bro. You in the moment. Come on. So in the moment, everything good, and she pull that ugly titty out. You go like, I refuse. I refuse. You like, what the fuck you want to do? Yo, you got a mother to like, whoa, no, I'm that good, shit on my good. face. Nah, depending on how out. everything else looks, I still will hit, but I just can't. My morals. <laughs> this nigga said my morals. Yeah, my morals. Can't let me suck it's on this city. That's all that matters. My soul. My soul. <laughs> like, I know. He said that. I know. <laughs> like, like, we still can hit, but it's like, you know, that's like, yeah. I can't. I can't. I shot nigga. Like, I shat. Like, what the fuck? Like, I shat. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Um. Uh, I shat. Y'all ever dealt with a girl, or maybe you knew of a girl, that looked good with bad or whatever, but you knew she was just a fucking headache? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 That was my type. And I, I'm about to say, I'm all the way down the table with the headache. Type. You know? That's my type, nigga. That's my type. Oh, my God. The headache? Oh, my God. The headache's God. been the best one, yo. I ain't gonna lie. Because the headache comes with shit. I'm like, yo, like, like, you look good and all, but like, uh, you worked it all the time? Like, you like, Fuck fuck up. Up. <laughs> no, but I really had to stop doing it. Like this summer, I I reclaimed my my worth and my you, time. Be <laughs> no, no, I'm, I reclaimed my what? time. Like I have it. I, 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 I had a, a bad headache, and I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna do this. Like I don't gotta do, do, put up with this. I don't gotta do this. It's, 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 it's talking to yourself like Easter Ray in the mirror. It's, it really like, was. That's really how it was. I'm like, I'm looking in the mirror. Like, do is it really worth getting called a, this, that, and a third? Mm-hmm. No, it's not. Fuck out. What's it the worst a girl called you? What's the worst? Dang, the what's worst. the worst a, a girl call any of y'all? You fat, long toenail, bitch. Don't look at my toenail. Oh, shit. At that time, at that time. At that time. At that time. Never again. At that time. That shit fucked me up. I'm like, ooh. Your sneakers probably have different I have flip flops. They do. They do. I went down a whole side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can only think about when I was younger. I did not know. I was 11 this whole time. Shit. Damn. I can only think about when I was younger. All the girls used to call me Snuffle Off, I guess. Wow. Yeah, what is that from again? Uh, Long Island. That's not really. I mean, I, they I wanted to hit. I see. Yeah. But I used to walk in the room in the morning. Used to be like, Snuffy. Yeah. That's the that worst thing count. somebody ever. Yeah. That was embarrassing though. But I could only think I can think about. That don't even count. Bitches love me so much. School shit don't count. That's school hurt. School hurt off the board. School hurt. 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 School I can't believe that shit, yo. I feel like a girl called me manipulative one time, and I was like, Damn. You probably were. I'm her. not. You think so? No, it's been like two or three over there. So it's probably true. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, I own my shit. But, so, so, like yeah. but I'm not, so though. Okay. But the whole thing is like, if, I'm, know, smarter, if I'm smarter than you, oh. I'm not oh. manipulative. What the fuck is wrong with you? just dumb oh. and you can't keep up. <laughs> That's that Joe Budden logic right there. Like, I see why he hated him. I see myself. Self hate. Like, so hate for sure. And I'm smart. But though, that's a bar though. I mean, I can kind of roll with you. No, look, if I'm just if I'm just like talking to you and I'm communicating with you and you think that I'm manipulating you because I'm actually just telling you the truth. Well, what's a what's a scenario where you were smarter than her and she was telling you? you were this one girl called manipulative because like, listen, this. listen. This is around the time my baby mom got pregnant. Listen, around the time my baby mom got pregnant and i was fucking with this girl all right at the same time i was talking about my mom cool. and i wa- went to her crib i, I literally it. texted her i literally texted her like yo um <laughs> yo. I, like i talked talk to you about something went over to her house i told her yeah i got a baby on the way and then she you was like i knew you had a baby on the way maybe for like maybe for like, <laughs> maybe for like 
two, three weeks, but she wasn't the first person I told the fuck. Man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I definitely, mom, my dad, the bitch I'm fucking over there. I, definitely, I had to deal with it for like a week myself. Yeah. Like, I definitely hit a, t- a time in between the time I knew. <laughs> my man, I'm still rolling. And then, and then she was, after that, she was like, oh, you manipulative. You was, you had a baby and all you fuck other girls. I'm like, you wasn't my girlfriend. So like, oh, yeah. oh Did she think, was y'all serious or something? No, we were just fucking yeah, yeah, she was just throwing up. She not retarded. She definitely was just throwing that word out there, though. But but a lot of women have done that. Where it's like, where it's like I, we have not been exclusive, and they yeah, thought I was we was exclusive, and that's not my. Why fault. would you ever think that if you never had a conversation? And because, I'm because, because, like, like, claiming you. No, bruh. but I'm also a nigga who like I'm the type of nigga. Who, I'm like I'm I'm toxic on your mind. I'm what you like. Yeah, baby. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. That's what he's saying. That we are together. We are not That's together. when it's communication. There we, there we go. I'm not but as I said earlier, women don't communicate. And, they hear and as I said earlier, that's not fucking you true. You know, it's most, because they already in your mind, in their mind, you been my boyfriend, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you said. And da da da. And then that's you get your feelings hurt. And then I'm in the middle of it. But men think like that sometimes, too, where it's just like, oh, we've been doing this for a while. You my girl. No, fuck not, nigga. No, you my girl. He's saying with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> niggas don't count. They so we're about to because we about to catch each other out and you're going to be mad. <laughs> That's a bad joke. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what you doing? Who's that? What you, you doing, doing here? Because <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me before it's lips. It's What's not, up? though. Yeah, he looked at me like, bitch. It's not, <laughs> it's not lit. <laughs> Who can your girl, like, so I had a theory, right, that, um, of course, me and my girl break up is cool. Like, whatever, shit happens. But it's certain niggas she can't be with afterwards. Though. Like who? Friend, she can't be with Meek after. Like, nah, nah. nah, you can't come up like that and then be one of my favorite niggas rappers. Niggas is definitely like, nah. upgrading. Oh, well, yeah, you I'm can't fuck somebody. What's one no, rapper? Which one really? rapper my girl can't fuck after? Bow Wow. <laughs> Like, it's so like just a celebrities. Yeah, more so. Oh, 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 I heard about that. I know y'all can't reach that. So it's all you good. don't know who we can reach. Yeah, you don't know. All it takes oh. take is her to pull up at the club and Lil Uzi there. Yep, that's all it takes. Right in the mix. And oh, she gonna have to oh. pick with Lil Uzi sh- and only show you. Like, that's... that's mm-hmm. <laughs> you only I don't care if you took a pick with Lil Uzi. I don't give a fuck about that. It's not gonna be just a pick. Yeah. Oh, it was gonna be just a pick. Oh, no. It wasn't just a pick. That ain't gonna hurt me none. I'm like, you living your life. I got to send you one That's back now. Now, 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 now we're playing the game. Man, you shit, life come real fast. He down, he I don't want to. No, real rap. I'm like, like Uzi, though? Yeah, curl that. Curl that. <laughs> Fucking Uzi. <laughs> He's sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the tub from the neck down, submerged and shit. Sick. <laughs> it was just a pic. It was just a pic. No, he was with, bu- with a bunch of cut up picture. He made a collage. Like, <laughs> all the jokes I made of her just fucked up. <laughs> um, and you got anybody? She, she, she can't. She can't not. Um. Chance the rapper. <laughs> what is up? She never had a white that's choice. Just, that's double bad. I think he's a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. man, chance she had his wife with your girl. Ooh, that's different. The baby. Like, the baby. You been mad about the baby? Yeah, because everybody going to be mad about the baby. The John talked about right now, she Jewish shit about the baby. And I'm just like. Everybody loves the baby. I wouldn't be mad about the baby. I wouldn't be mad about the baby. You yeah. hype and shit. It's just. it's just Because like, it's too new? Yeah, I'm like, you hype and shit. Well, y'all be hype over new. You just talk about his new bitches. But I don't be hype about no new bitches for real, for real. They just be very hyper, though. Who can your girl fuck though? Like, if my girl fuck Drake, I'm not gonna be mad. Oh, my girl can fuck Bow Wow, we mad. good. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna be mad at Drake at all. Like, all right, that's the best rap. Because Drake get mad for real, for real. Like, you fuck with Drake, so it's all good. Nobody <laughs> give a fuck about what y'all gonna be mad at after we <laughs> well, broke yeah. up. Okay, but we're not talking about what y'all gonna be mad at. What you care about? about. <laughs> we're talking you about what, what I'm gonna be mad at. Toxic. Yeah. 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 We broke up. Fuck it's you. It's even about you. You gotta wait for the next question. She can't fuck. Nigga, she can do my emotions. Let me feel how I wanna feel. She fucked right, Bow Wow. Yeah. She, she could fuck Bow Wow. Bow Wow, see. Yeah, she could definitely fuck Bow Wow. You could fuck all, all the so. niggas that was like pop with the elementary and middle school and shit. No, you, you can't you fuck do with, that. uh, Lil Fizz. <laughs> y'all really, y'all really digging in crates now. Right, right. <laughs> Lil Fizz is also safe, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we are good off of Lil Fizz. That nigga Zell was like, shut the fuck up, I beat Fizz up. Fizz and they're like, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> that nigga voice is wild. Um, how about this? Um, if y'all were talking to a girl, and then she says she tell you right there, nice to be a man. Are y'all still gonna be? <laughs> That's gonna be the same joke. Holy <laughs> crap! Like what? I'd be like, what? 
You still gonna be trans Yeah. Did okay. I hit already? No, you're having a conversation with her. Oh. If you hit already, would it matter? I'm gonna be sick a little bit like I fucked a man. That's gonna be back you my mind like shit. You did. But she's a. Huh? You did. I'll be confused. You so, wait. yeah, I wouldn't be mad, but I wouldn't be I attracted no more. Oh, Mentally, I would be cool. It's a mental thing. Yeah. yeah. And I would be unattracted no more. But I wouldn't be mad, though. But I do think the conversation should happen beforehand, though. I think. Yeah. I was just about fair. to say. Nobody so- would ever know about that. Yeah. I'll tell you talk to oh my god. <laughs> That's a funny ass story. I was, yeah, I'll be on a podcast with it. <laughs> Guess what the fuck I did though. Like, yeah, like, y'all ain't gonna believe this shit. Me and my girl broke up. First person I hit. Guess what? <laughs> it was a man. a man five years ago. I'm going back to my girl. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't gonna she take you back. This shit is terrible. I hate it here. The streets is wild. It's not for me. The streets is done. Clearly. Uh, what you gonna say though? I forgot. Not cool. <laughs> Moving on. Next topic. You want to say something? No. Uh, All right. I really just. You want to say something? No. Nigga, what the fuck you want us to say? Yes, right. some questions. Because he's running out of topics. Oh, he's I was trying to. He's in 21 episodes. Wow. We out. I'm out. We're done. <laughs> we're done. 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 Well, but really, the next part of the fucking topic, you bitch ass niggas, is Malik Yoba, right? Malik Yoba, because even though I don't think anything is wrong. And like, the boxing ball, the game boxing ball? No, 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 the, the actor no, that's ball. different. Actor oh. guy, whatever. He said, yeah. not that he's exclusively attracted to the trans woman, but like, he's, he's dating a, a lot of trans women. I don't even know who that is. He's dating a lot, like, he's choosing to date a lot of trans women. Yeah, yeah. Or and to me, that's an interesting thing because, like, if you're seeking them out, what is it about the trans woman, though? The like, fact that these... Yeah, yeah, that you seek out. Like, you just come across them kind of frequently somehow. The bone uh, structure, maybe? I don't know. I don't think maybe a trans joint turned him out, and that's just what he into now. Yeah. Mm. Set the bar. Yeah. He's just like, you know what? doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can't reach that. <laughs> Man, can't reach that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, also, like, I don't know. That's his attraction. I mean, it's like, if I like, if I like, uh, butch woman. If that's my type, that's my type. That's mm-hmm. my type. Do you like butch women? I mean, some are pretty. Yeah, if, if I if I'm really I'm I'm, like I'm my attraction to work like that. Like I'm really attracted to like is, is all the types of. Is the brat butch? butch? Yeah, that's the right. Yeah, issue. The brat. Yeah. Or is young, like cause I feel young and me is harder than the brat. Queen Latifah is. Actually, no, young me just got tense. They are the same thing. Actually, young me is a man. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the hood. That's what they want you to believe. No, that's what I'm. I believe that. Okay. <laughs> in my heart. No, okay. You think younger man wants to be trans? I think it'd be hard for young, so. younger man to come no. out as trans. Bro, there's no room All in the right game for a, a trans rapper. But like younger man got the got the kind of no the closest shit. the closest bridge. Like if Definitely. young man is like I want to, I'm a man, I'm getting top surgery, you feel me? Like I wanna be a m I am a man, like I mean we ain't gonna have none due respect to Sam yeah. Smith. But she Maybe. said he's turned up to a woman? No, but Sam oh. Smith came out and said his pronouns are their they, pronouns are they. But so all, it takes rap. Me, no, I, I know he doesn't. That nigga sing. You know what I'm saying? It's different when you a rapper. Oh, uh, yeah. Rappers is like, fuck these bitches. We don't fuck with faggots. We gonna shoot these guns. We gonna get this money. But that's why young men, that's right, because she's just as toxic as every other, well, yeah, I know. Every, a lot of other men. Yeah. And she said before, she's a woman. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. I don't think she, she don't seem to have any aspirations to be transition or whatever. But, yeah. She said, why, I'm keeping my box. Have you ever dated a trans or talked to a trans person before? No. But you just confident that you don't think it would turn you off? No, definitely not. I'm, I feel like I'm attracted to everybody. Like, every, not everybody, but every type of woman. Like, I don't think, I don't really see a difference in trans women. Like, when they, when the, when the woman, Amira, what's her name? Amina? Um, Amina, I think, yeah, I think it is. The, 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 the real bad one. Whatever, I was like, oh, y'all niggas gotta be careful out here. I'm like, that's a, a bad picture, bitch. Yeah. Like, that, she's really bad. Yeah, you like, can't deny the attraction. You just see the face and the picture. Yeah, like, right. she's yeah. really bad. Like, I, that's, that's, it. that's why I know it is a mental thing for me. It's like, yeah, it's definitely a mental yeah. thing. Like, Caitlyn Jenner regards is just ugly. Like, yeah, no matter sure. what. Like, exactly, like, exactly. Like, 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 no matter what. No, <laughs> no matter what you turn into. Yeah, like, you just <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Like, if y'all had a family member, right, snitch on another family member, would y'all forget the family member? What they snitching on them for? Trapping. Yeah, you. Why are you, why are you telling them, Kyle? Because they trapping. That, no, 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 they both was in strong. it. Oh, they both was in it? Yeah. Well, they got pinched, and he was like, uh, that's uh, nothing. No, he, yeah, he, he can't come to the cookout. He can't come to the Thanksgiving. Because you were right. Man, you yeah. were tattletoe. <laughs> now like, Cousin Greg doing what, seven. What will he do next? Like, no. <laughs> but y'all let Uncle Terry come to the cookout. No. <laughs> Uncle Terry can come. Y'all went to the Uncle Funeral after what he did. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Yo, real shit. He banging shit. on that casket That's again, like, though. No. <laughs> He like stop doing that shit to my man. Holy shit! He gonna come back to me. Put some whisper to you, shit like for real, nephew. Stop fucking playing with the Emmett Till. All the nigga shit. Like a word. What we do? But all y'all just cutting person off. I don't know. It's hard to say because you're not in that situation. But I mean, I know my. I don't look at you differently. You draw. Like if I'm in a car, if 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 you in a car with your cousin, he trapped. And you might be getting in trouble. You can go and you snitch. don't try. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, snitch. That's different, of course. Go ahead, snitch. That's not snitching. But if you no, in this shit, that's you in it, nigga. You gotta rock out. If I'm in a car yeah. and I say that's his drugs, that's snitching. That's not snitching. You don't try. And he put you in that situation. No, that's not. Why is the person that put you in the situation not saying? They should take it on rope. You don't have to say it because you're not in that life. So they not saying it, and you. Nigga, I ain't about to go to fucking jail. And I fucking do what you, you gotta yeah, do. You drop me the bus I stop, nigga. Like, <laughs> and I feel that's we gotta like, cause you know what happened? Street niggas started snitching, and then they started trying to flip the whole. Well, everything is snitching now. I was like, like no, it's no, it's, it's, it's all Frank stark Lucas, line. Between. Frank Lucas and Rico, they started this shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just have countries recently. <laughs> Maybe we need to get Frank Lucas. Frank snitched on Maybe all the cops. He's like, I ain't snitching on nobody. I'm snitching on the cops. If there's one person can snitch on. It's you crooked still a racist rat. cops. You still a rat. Fuck the cops. You still a rat. Fuck the cops. You still a rat. They rat on they us. Rat the because y'all both playing the dirty game for real, for real. You still a fucking bro, rat. You on. just got caught up. You still a rat. No, the cops still it's a rat. Fuck 12. It's fuck 12. Yeah. It's fuck 12. I mean, it's still no, fuck 12 bro. all the way, but when you in business with 12. Was he in business with an extort? Hey, you That's the difference. With him. But you got all this money. You can't get these niggas touched with an extort you no more. And you fine? Why would you try to get a cop? No, they in Jersey. Fuck them. You in New York. <laughs> <They're in Jersey. laughs> you can make that shit look disconnected from you. Like, nigga, I'm in mean, Harlem. I'm out of my fucking business. They ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> they visited you yesterday at 845. They ended up dead at 1047. So? A lot of enemies. Black man in the 70s. Just be going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that totally fine. Yeah, no, don't definitely believe me. Right, definitely. Where you was that? Right, this is what you should Where do. Where you was that, nigga? I was sitting on my expensive rug with three bad bitches. That's what I was doing. Yeah, okay, turn around quick, sir. Yeah, you're under arrest for doing yeah. this. <laughs> and I have an alibi for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so in my family, I had an aunt snitch on an uncle. And it, it always was interesting to she me. Did, was it her son? Out? Was it her son? She comes to the cookout? Yo, yeah. Cook Pete, like, was it her son? His the sibling. Aunt. Oh, oh, oh. I thought it was his so, aunt. Oh, Damn. The, the sister snitched on the brother. Mm-hmm. But what was this, like, what did she tell? That nigga did all that. Like, you know, you know he, he was, well, yeah. Everything he said, he did. He, he <laughs> guilty for, <laughs> he did this shit. Tra- but she was trapping too. And she's a part of it. She's part of it. She is right. And she comes to the cookout. We don't say it to her at the cookout. So that's the thing, right? So my mom that's cut her cookout. off for years. But then she ended up getting sick. So, you know, people start coming around oh. after that point. My grandma never cut her off. But until the day she died, I always had like mixed feelings about it because I was never able to get past her. We was like on a mental level. Oh, I was the like, old nigga at the table, like, yo, she had it though. Yeah, Why? We, never, we never got tight back then. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you knocked her back and really Rudy Sullivan. Get the shit. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I was a fucking child. Back then, it was like when I heard, when I realized, I was just like, they told you when you was young, boy, don't fuck with her. Yeah, because look, we didn't talk to her for five years. That's crazy. So once people start coming back around, just like, but why would they back around, though? It's like, I don't understand. And, like, you know, he's still in jail. I'm not yeah. confused. Yeah. But, so that's that's, crazy but I understand man. how family can, you know, distort feelings and, you know, objectivity, of course. So. That happens with so rich, but it would be, yeah, me neither. Yeah. It'd be like people in your family doing nasty shit, and mm-hmm. they still be getting to come around and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. that shit is wild. Because we'll cut somebody off if they're red. Which, depending on how you, like, I know with me, especially my dad, how he was, ain't no rats in his family. Mm-hmm. But, like, if you fucking, this nigga touching little kids or doing something to somebody in your family, they, uh, we just not gonna talk about That's it. That's one thing I never shit. understood. My family got a lot of shit in it. That's one thing, to my knowledge, was yeah, never, like, part of our skeletons, like... Shit, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, the uncle that's in the basement? Yeah, we don't talk about that no more. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, like, we just don't talk about it, but he's still nigga, around. Like, like yeah. why, why we in cut? And I hear about families that they, they, like, pacify and tolerate it and be like, oh, well, you know, what did you do to lead them on? It's a little-ass girl right. type it shit. Be, like, yeah, like, it'd be wild. Yeah. Um, here come running on top of the corner. Where? Too much of one and done. Thirty minute on show. It's <laughs> been freestyling this whole joint. It's just one word on here. Not none on that fucking paper. Right. Like, I, I 
I asked him that he, he said he didn't move it. Now I can bring it back to him. <laughs> he said move it. Tell us more about our boss, please. Again? More boss? Have you made his So how much do y'all hate Copas for real? <laughs> a lot. But what about the Spanish fries? <laughs> uh, um, what's the most... Y'all feel Shade Room is anti-black? I feel Shade Room is very, mm. very, very I don't go on Shade Room. I don't know yeah. Someone told me that recently. And I was I like, anti-black? Anti-black, I think it's just low brow. I think... They're negative. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. it's negative. I don't want to call it anti-black because they do also promote black people. They're and they're full of negatory on that job? Very right. much. I think it showcases yeah. blackness in a in a way. It paints it in a light, but I don't think it's anti-black. I think they show black things that, that black people like to see. What I don't like about the shade room is that, I mean, it's their job or whatever to, to post and bid and all that. And some of the comments do be funny and shit. But then it'll be a day where they'll be like, mental health is important, da, da, da. And I'll be like, nigga, like, you are exposing people on this shit and doing this other shit. And you tell somebody have a good day, like, fuck y'all. Yeah, what the fuck weird. is wrong with y'all? Because he woke up with a heart that day. That's all. <laughs> I think the thing about Shay though, is that they, the thing about any platform is that they have a responsibility and you got the opportunity to take it or you don't have the opportunity to take it. And Shay does not all, often take responsibility in anything that they post. So it's like, you you could be like Shay Room and make things that, People take however they want to take, but Shade Room can easily, very, very easy, cut their comments off and make that page very that much better. Yeah, for sure. If, you if, get the comments of the issue, the comments are the worst part of Shade Room. Mm. That is the funniest. I feel like well, the comments yeah. are the best part of anything it's, on the internet yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But so that's sh- why they won't cut it off. But if Shade Room cut their comments off, then it's just them sharing news. Yeah, you feel yeah, I me? Mean? Yeah. Mm. But by allowing comments, you got the celebrity who's who's in the in the post. You like, got other, uh, no. other celebrities and other celebrities laughing. All this other shit happening. If you cut the if you cut the comments off Shay Room, I think that becomes just it's a news platform. The comments are funny though. Yeah. But it's it's it's, it's, it's like, the big though. Strong. That's the whole thing. That's the that's why you that's why you said when they post the <clears throat> mental health thing, it's like it kind of feel fake because it's like yeah. y'all letting people get bitten on. But if they just didn't let people get bitten on, we would bid, but like we would bid on the property wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't get to see the whole world draw on Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's interesting to me because like I said, like I don't follow Shay Room. To me, it's weird. Um Taking like that much information, like especially when you mostly don't care about it, but if you're following it, you you're bombarded with it, so like you you force to care about it, where it's since whatever. But at the same time, I don't understand like the comic theory because we always still got Twitter and shit going to travel to Twitter anyway. So won't the biz still happen? It come from us, of course. Us, yeah, yeah it pops but it's Twitter, to, then for, then for what for shit to right. communicate, people still can communicate, but at least it won't be under right under the post. So, but, but that's the thing is that separate a little that's bit. why the share room is not. Inherently bad because we was gonna do it anyway. Yeah, we gonna bid. We was right. gonna bid no matter what. They just right. they giving us a place to look at everything in one place. Right, right. right. That's, yeah. Fair that's true. Yeah. Um, do y'all feel so? Someone I heard a conversation. They said Kendrick may be one of the biggest rappers in the world, but he's one of the least influential. And they said all these oh, mumble. Oh, um, I, I feel that shit like that, you know, that. future, something like future, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot more niggas are way more impactful or influential than someone like a Kendrick or a Cole. Th- that's what that was Because I feel the same way about like. I don't uh, think people like. I don't think Cole impact that crazy for real, for real, bro. He has a lot of bands, supporters. He, he do numbers. Don't, and that don't, but that don't mean you're influential. Mm-hmm. I feel sure. the same way about like uh, Steph Curry and LeBron, like. LeBron is not as influential as Steph. Steph changed the game of basketball. LeBron did LeBron not. LeBron didn't? No. Yeah, LeBron gotta, did not. Relax. At 17 years old, 6'8", strongest shit. No, LeBron's the best player of the game ever. Positionless basketball. That nigga had 25, 7, but and no, like 5 in the first game. game. Stretch forwards. No, he did not change the game. Steph uh, literally yeah. made the three-point line a sure. thing, Steph thing, thing, thing. Sure. He's the Drake of the NBA. Yeah. LeBron, LeBron is more Kendrick. Yeah, LeBron is more Ooh, That's wow. that's a good take. No. That's LeBron. No, he yeah, is. that's a good take. He is because he does it. Inside, he does the best play basketball in a way that nobody ever will be able to play, play basketball again. Even even Giannis don't play basketball like LeBron. I mean, but we got shooters. I think, like all, I, no, I think people name like, another name another guy who plays basketball like LeBron right now. The fact no that, one, no. nobody. Okay, okay, look at this. Name, now name some before LeBron. Play basketball like stuff. The norm of a small forward was like mellow type shit. Yeah. All you can do is mm-hmm. shoot, rebound. You never pass. Niggas be passing now. It's like, if you can't pass like, at all, that's like not, that's not like simple LeBron? at all. Well, he's the best. Right, but now, but now, you, you have to be more complete now because of LeBron, though. But now, but now, but, <laughs> I'm going to head out. I'm going to bring it up. But Steph, 
everybody play those. Steph. We got Trey Young. We got mm-hmm. Lucas shooting from thirty. We got For everybody sure. shooting from thirty playing like Steph. I can't say LeBron because the game go. changed, bro. Yeah, you can you say because of Steph. Thing, they, like, they both changed. Steph, I can't say LeBron didn't change, change it at all. No, I'm not saying he didn't change it at all. I think Steph did more. I think Steph is very influential and. Just like Kendrick, LeBron is very virtuosic in the way he plays basketball, and it's hard for him to replicate. And Ken- nobody's going to be able to rap like Kendrick for a long, long, long time. Yeah, he tries. Yeah. I, I, I mean, but there are you know, plenty. I, I, stole there take, I stole your take about the um, you the, said the, Dream, the Dream Roll album. Yeah. It's just a bunch of uh, Kendricks. <laughs> <laughs> is it every, it's a bunch of parts of a bunch of parts of Kendrick. That's what, that's Kendrick what he's the same Kendrick. Person. I mean, fucking Jid, Saba, Boogie. It's no, a couple I ain't gonna say Saba. Shit. Saba is fucking yeah, Section bit, Eighty Kendrick. Bit. All them niggas is different bit. forms of Kendrick and shit. And Kendrick, bit. like I'm a new Boogie form. album. I'm rolling with you. Yeah, yeah. But I still Boogie, feel he Boogie, got his kid, own. Man, City Kendrick. But still, yeah. yeah. I fuck with yeah. I fuck with Boogie. Boogie, my man. You said Boogie is good kid, man. City Kendrick. Yeah. He's stuck in that form. I'm still in the hood, but I'm rapping, and he talk about soft shit. That's yeah, the, it, his, like, the intro yeah. his album was definitely some like uh, yeah, that's some one of them Kendrick songs. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, whatever. I feel you. But it's not on the same level though. For sure. And I think I think it's easier to replicate what Drake does than it is to replicate what Kendrick. Drake is just a superstar. Like, or so easier to represent re- replicate what Future does than what. I mean, but you can try. Bro. You does. won't have the same impact when you're so, doing so, it though. Yeah. Well. A lot of niggas run with they swag, but they not really on their level of doing it. A lot of niggas got future shit. Mm-hmm. But like future, future and Thug are most influential. Are they the, the best to ever do it? No. But Thug, Thug <laughs> changed the, the entire rap game. Future yeah. changed the entire Dude, rap game. Really? When he was talking in high, I don't know what that nigga was Thug saying. Has, like, Thug's influence <laughs> is like becoming like elite of like compared just, to other influence. I think about who has the most team. kids, like who has the most children in, in yeah. what they do. Yeah. Then y'all can't get. Chief. Everybody, every, Lil Wayne is way more influential than name a, name somebody comparable to Lil Wayne. Yeah, like, Kanye. yeah, yeah, Kanye. It's mad different forms of names. <laughs> another, and know, it's hard Kanye to replicate Kanye. Is up there too. But he don't got a lot of kids. Like he got kids, but like it's more like them niggas was helping him make music. Yeah. No, they was making his music with him. Like Travis nobody Scott. was making. Travis no, got his son, Big Sean. He signed on his yeah, son. Yeah, like Ty, I board. feel like Tyler, Cuddy, they all come from yeah, yeah. 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 But no. No. Bro, before Kanye, it wasn't cool to be a dork yeah, rapper. Like, yeah. I can feel you though, they not trying to replicate necessarily, but they come from them. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, to your yeah. point that niggas really try to be Wayne, or niggas trying try to, to be Thug. Right, 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 right. I can feel you though. Niggas try to be future. Lil Durk right now. Definitely. For sure. Yeah. I think probably the top influential people ever, Wayne, Future, Thug. Chief Keef. Chief Keef. Mm-hmm. Um, but all right, that's uh-huh. that's is that influence like because we, we like you were saying like Kanye did influence the game right in a crazy way yeah but did Future influence it more because we hear more of Future t- to the in today's music than we hear of Kanye's music yes he, yes. he did the Wayne shit he flooded y'all and everyone yeah. be like him so you I think see. that's more influential than what Kanye did for rap because Kanye's done now Kanye switched like he's the the yeah. sw- yeah. Kanye sw- w- switched what rap Kanye looked like versatile. but Lil Wayne switched what rap sounded like. You feel me? And like, it looked like at a certain degree. Well. Yeah, also, yeah, also, like, Lil Wayne created the mixtape. But, but era. yeah, I mean, we did too. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Done, yeah, didn't change with me. You can't say like. Lil Wayne made the mixtape era though. Like New York, made it away. Yeah, 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 but like, it's the way he did though. I see what you just can't give that. He was in that era and he was the bull, but. DJ Clue tapes and Who Kid tapes, all them niggas mixtapes been cracking. He's just a nigga that ran around. That's a different type of mixtape area. I think nigga, it's two, what? I think it's two, like, no, we ain't I mean, really t- that shit to a whole different mixtapes, level. It's like. two mixtape eras. It's the the DJ mixtape era, with which you and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, which 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 was concurrent with Lil Wayne because DJ White Out was was doing that shit. And DJ Drama with the fuck. Yeah, DJ Drama was, was doing that, shit. but then. Lil Wayne carried it on without a DJ, right. with no ceilings. No ceilings. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he did it without DJ. And wasn't nobody doing talking shit? Nope. Sorry for the way. You sure nobody hosted them jokes? It was dedication where it was hosted and it was... Drama. 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 Yeah. Drama. Dedication, dedication. After but they, they outlasted the DJs. Like, then DJ Khaled came out of nowhere and started making yeah. albums. It was, it was the clue shit. Wayne had his own shit yeah. into the Sean Wale's yeah. Cole. Yeah. Yeah. And and they actually, but then mixtapes is dead by them because them niggas right. putting on real ass songs. No, oh, but they had a tape run though. They had mixtapes. Yeah. They had mixtapes. Mac Cole. Miller. All yeah, they was, that was like the, the very late mixtape run. Mm-hmm. The back end of the shit. Yeah. Blog era. So I saw something online that Jada Kiss said. And he, he got said, relaxed. Huh? He got relaxed. He oh he 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 said he got relate. He said that he can put up money and he can kill any rapper. He said he want five hundred. Oh, 
But he think he can kill any rapper. He been saying Top Rock Dirt Alive for like 20 years. But he got so like three like, albums. That don't mean... No, he I got a lot of... He got like five of his albums. He got like five of his you know he's he's still not even he's, he's, doing he's still though. barely top 25. Like, come on, oh, top 50. Uh, it's like, it's really like, like, bro, bro, it's, it's a new really right, you got Y'all got put respect. Everybody in here is over the age of 23. It's a new breed of niggas that's like 16 to fucking 19. It's not top 50. That's basically saying these niggas is hot, not them old ass niggas y'all listen Jake to. Jake is definitely a rapper that got left in the past for sure. Of all of those that's rappers. Crazy, but that's Styles okay, though. Know, like, everybody can't last more than 20 years. But like, also, Jake has never really had one of those hits. Like, he had Why? But like young boys not listening yeah. like they listen like hot oh, hair by Nelly. So I think JD Kiss is too old. <laughs> you listen to hot hair? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas listen to hot hair. Young boys. No. <laughs> but no, yeah. I feel like you can play hot hair now and it has cultural relevance. Okay. I think Why does not? Why you play wild right now? I'm be hype as shit. But you not gonna be hype. I'm right everywhere. <laughs> you not gonna be hype. Why would I determine to win the election? I'm be right there the whole time. <laughs> Come on, pay attention. Zell had to go crooked before he took it. I think JD Kiss is one of those artists too who just comes out with music like if he wants to when he wants to he's not really sure. pressed about it so i don't think but that's not how you be top five dead or alive though we know he was saying anything i mean yeah. if he, want, if he, he tried to wayne and ti did manifest it by saying it but and it no, worked for a little he tried bit to manifest yeah, it, but, like, but, but then niggas are still looking at the body work like hmm. but i think <laughs> i think jenny kids uh trajectory is better at right? I think right now, if he if he he can't get in battle rap he can't get in battle rap you heard the new battle rap shit which Jay, I, I, New York, he, he, he don't, he don't, he don't want to get that. He, he, he need to different. be a businessman. It's different. Just relax. It's yeah. okay. Just, it's yeah. over. You, you had your you the ball. Drop music. Shout out to Styles. Styles be chilling. Dropping music. Styles P got diamond. He dropped the tape with Dave East. He's out. He's really out here. Not doing too much. Got a good wife. He is chilling. He still feel good. I never got this. His wife looks so street. I never saw his wife. I know she held the pack for him. They got to join his cooking and shit, yo. They got Johnny cooking. I know she helped. The she look hard as shit. I like it. I know she ain't right. I know she ain't right. Wife. Who? Oh Jr. Smith wife. She said it's snap, man. She was. She so wasn't nice. even snap, but she was sad. That's going off sad if I ever seen it. That, that, <laughs> that is, is hilarious. Hilarious. That, that was funny though. She was no, so no. hurt that she got on camera in front yeah. of everybody and prayed for him to stop cheating. Oh, the Jr. Smith shit. Why was Why she doing that? Why was she doing that? I never heard her before. So. When pe- like it's people saying like yeah he cheated with her but I mean I like it's okay to cheat if the bitch is bad that's what y'all saying no, no it's still bad J- J- wrong is wrong no. but of course it's better but yeah it, it's, it's hard when you look like something worse than if she an ugly joint you really just draw yeah like, you just draw you just yeah but she's available she's 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 she an actor? She got something for herself. Yeah, not like she a bomb. Yeah, are you gonna be, are you gonna be mad if it's a, are you gonna be mad or if your nigga she I'm an gonna ugly be girl? mad regardless. What's gonna make you more mad? A ugly girl ugly? or a bad yeah. or a bad girl? Oh, like it's it's a I would laugh if she ugly. Like yeah, you dumbass nigga. You less <laughs> mad. You less mad. What's a bad girl? And the difference for niggas, the flip side is like if it's like a nigga with money or like a broke bum ass nigga. Right. Like this nigga broke his shit. Ain't, ain't <laughs> so you would care less? Well, if he's broke, yeah. I'd be mad as shit. Right? He like this the nigga that broke his shit. He ain't got no money. Like, like, he like, really like, anything. He broke his shit. Must be some good dick. That's what you mean. I'm not going to say that, K. Like, no, we're not going to say that. You just got to be real with yourself. He said, too far. Put the palm off. Not going to say that, K. He got the better ass. Yeah, so I see what's going on. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do y'all feel about? So I had a conversation, and they were saying like um, they feel the streaming uh, platform is kind of headed toward maybe to. No, because I was just talking about this, so I'm I'm, I'm ready for this. Go okay. ahead, I'm sorry. Um, the streaming platforms okay. are headed to like possibly to um, each artist having their own possibly. And like, I kind of, kind of, kind of money oh, you're talking about music, like, okay. stemming from the Nipsey thing, because Nipsey did the whole proud to pay thing. Mm. You pay full you price like for this, your and so, album yeah, so I don't, it was one guy I can't remember his name was, but he he, he dropped crazy. the album, remember and it was only exclusively on his site. That was that was happening. The main album of the summer. So, oh, that was happening. Full circle, baby. Everything coming back. Full circle. Never do under the sun. Y'all remember Ryan Leslie? Yeah, yeah. I believe Ryan Leslie has been doing it in the past few years. Like yeah. he just released all his music exclusively through his own shit. He got all he got a newsletter for all yeah. his fans and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's how but everybody should be doing it. Yeah. To be honest, with I don't you, believe that's man. sustainable though. Yeah, no, same with like so all these other streaming like that. platforms yeah, that like, dog. No, I'm not buying Disney Plus, HBO, Cartoon Network, all this shit. We're gonna stick to the Fire Stick. 
if <laughs> I'm not paying two hundred dollars for twenty different services, that don't fucking make sense to me. Same yeah. way, I'm not paying twenty different. A fucking J. Cole service, a Kendrick service, a J. That don't fucking make sense. But I understand oh, so why. Like Apple Music and Tidal, they gonna have their own. No, thing like the artists will have their own. Like I'm yeah, taking yeah, my yeah, shit yeah, off. Once I get my masters uh, back, yeah. I take my shit off. You want to listen to me? Yeah, Come to my shit. But you can sell it. You can put. You can just make a website and have your shit on your own site at that point. For real, for real. Yeah. Right. You can hustle out the trunk. That's kind of the same. But there's some y'all would pay for that. No, well, I'm saying, no. if it's a, I mean, if Future did that shit, I would definitely pay for it. Like, but, there's nowhere else I can hear Future songs yeah, over there. Yeah, right, you do that? Cool, yeah. I don't have nobody where I would do that. No, yeah, me neither. No. No. Yeah. It depends maybe, on how much, too. Maybe. How much would you pay? A month? Yeah. Like seven ninety nine. I think I think <laughs> like, the only artist, like, artist who put yeah. enough to do it is currency who drops a project every month who could keep his fan base plugged yeah, in like, be like those a real are people strong, with strict, yeah. with strong um cool. band- yeah. Like you can't even like, take it ten months cool. off and when I when I work with artists now, I'm always telling them make physical copies of your music, sell that. You're gonna make money way <laughs> quicker. Wait you're gonna make me money back way quicker than if you put it on streaming. You know Q, you dropped the album. Yes, sir, we are live right now. We're alive right now. But like the streaming numbers, the streaming numbers ain't. Of course. They, but if you sold twenty <laughs> CDs, <laughs> you would have made the money, made money a lot quicker. Right. So like, I think with the thing, of, with the thing about that is like, if he's telling you about stuff. Listen to this. He is man. though. Like you hear the wisdom. He, because he's smarter than you. I didn't even know he was dropping the wisdom. <laughs> he was giving you a hundred gems just now. He was already talking about it with my mom. I, I heard the episode. <laughs> <laughs> he trying, he trying to put me over. Like, yeah, yeah, like, I'll be paying attention. I wasn't smart until I was being manipulated. Like. <laughs> 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 like, it's crazy. No, you're crazy. But, but I think I think we should, we, should, we should all just buy the music that we like. What streaming with streaming services or artists are pushing for on streaming services now is right now all your streams going to a pot, right? So if you get one stream that call, that's that much money. What artists is pushing for is like say if I listen to twenty five percent, twenty five percent of my I listen to Drake. Twenty five percent of my money would then go to Drake. So like that means t- out of my ten dollars that I pay pay a month, twenty two dollars and fifty seven go to Drake, and then that's how they would break it down, which would equ- equate more to like so say if I listen to only your album, you would get ten dollars off rip because I listen to ninety ninety percent of ninety percent of the time I listen to your music. That's what we are pushing for now, which is still like dumb because it's like you still relying on streaming service to pay you, which is like you could just make your own bread. But I understand why people are but lazy. But they tell you that also a lot of their money yeah. don't even come from their music anymore. Right. It's like shows. It's like merch. Right. It's all about what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah. You're trying to build that up to do other and, shit. And for like, people who are doing that independently, I feel like they just really care about the music and that's it. And that's just what they want to do. Yeah, music but, is just like a promo. But you like know, Drake, happen. Drake don't care about how many streams he getting. He's going to get a lot of streams. He, he just cracked over. He don't but care Drake is he colossal. Get, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But like, I'm talking about like artists who are just starting off. They need to be thinking about it more because mm-hmm. Drake is going to get his, get his money no matter what. People going to buy his albums, get, sure. get his music no matter what. It's artists who are on that ground level that I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make my money off doing this. I feel like niggas is just like in bougie tours like SoundCloud and putting their shit on YouTube and audio making and all that shit like that. Everybody not ready for Spotify and Apple Music. No, it don't cost you them putting more money to put that shit on there and then you ain't making that back. Like, mm-hmm. put it over here, like everybody fuck with you. Then like, yeah, this album here though. But, and I, I can see the flip side of it is like, all right, because I'm come, a person that's coming up, you like, all right. Cause you're saying most likely if you push your heart, you could probably sell twenty copies for that. But again, if you really not even like if the money necessarily at that level or that time isn't that deep to you, you're just trying to do it to get some attention for it, other people hear it. You heard it right. All right, so this you could probably tell to someone, or you can hear this, or more people hear it, and this could lead to something else. So again, they not worrying about you don't worry about the money from the um, the album because that gets you a show. Right. Or you can lead to a showcase, not a showcase, you don't have negative connotation, no, no, but showcase. something like that. So the music is like yeah. leading to something. Right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, we, we artists. But of course, if you can make money yeah. there too, why not? So that's right. a good point though. Like I post art online for free. Uh-huh. I don't get paid for to post art. But if I know that by, if I post enough art in a month and if I throw a show, people will come out to my right. show and then and that's, how I'm, my, that's right. how I'm going to get my money. Right. So it's, it's all about trying to figure out ways to make the it's money. It's all about Brandon, to be honest. Yeah, it really is. Mm-hmm. It's all about and consistency. Brandon, so. Consistency yeah. is very, very important. Mm-hmm. People fuck with you when you're consistent. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just like this nigga been doing this for a minute. You can't taking these like, breaks. You watch people grow. Mm-hmm. Don't you have some type of like services? Or, like, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I freelance. They want to like Butterball. They can come through for more information. Big boss. But they don't listen. No, you know, I, for the most part, all my freelancing come from small businesses or if corp like some 
co- big companies hit me up and they need to like, the Apple, Nike. Yeah. It's no big deal. <laughs> but like they're easier to work Comcast. with because they know what they want. Other like like artists, they don't listen and they don't mm-hmm. want to pay you. Mm-hmm. And I'm tired. <laughs> I was tired. They don't want to pay. Like, I feel like I don't want to pay a song to anything. You say, like, bro. People will hit you up for advice and say, "What should I do?" And I will tell you what you should do. One, two, three, four, five. And That's like, don't uh, and do don't it. do it. They're like, yo, I ain't really feeling them. Yeah, it's so many artists that are out right now that should be bigger, but they don't fucking listen. Like, mm. why you got a whole album out and no and no music video? Why you don't got no newsletter? She's got a heavy video coming soon, but hey. we are live album that's coming hey. soon. Nice. Chop Jesso won't take these. Yeah, shit, they make videos for their freestyles, doing all this, but you should you could have had three videos for your project and you could still be pushing it. A lot of freestyle. There's no way, like, it's been three months since your project <laughs> dropped. You should still no be pushing it. No more freestyle videos. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want these. <laughs> no, it's not old files no we more. Tired. Yeah. Yeah. We're tired. It's funny because they called they call like a a, a bit of juice. Like earlier this year, but it's like that's no, done. It, it lasts, it over, lasts like, for one week, yeah. and then niggas ran into a hole. Right, it's over. I mean, I they understand. run into a hole and not their actual project, and right. it, it blows my mind every time. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Participate in a so Philly challenge. Participate. Do that. Yeah, but let that lead to something else. Take it somewhere yeah. else. But it never does. Now that you got all these views from so Philly, John, drop something. Let me hear a song. But niggas, well, you should already have something. Yeah, yeah, they be tripping. Yeah. It's, but like you said, consistency is key. It's not even about dropping all the time. Calculated it's about making too. art all the time. Or like, at Blair, least if you have yourself. art to post, if you have art to post, you shit out of luck. I just be talking shit all yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. I'm tired. Of this you need talking stuff. Shit all day. You need stuff to show. Now, Butter is the most consistent person. Her Butter blog just hit mm. thousands and thousands of followers. Okay. She, she always got content, and that's the thing that keep oh, keep her going. Right. So, like, that's Football, that's. that's <laughs> 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 yeah, he gave her mad. I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this for you. <laughs> One by she get two thousand. Give her that energy, like a thousand. So, like, but like, because you see, people so just cute. be trying to find. I don't know, like. I don't know why people aren't consistent. It's, to me, if you care about it, you're going to stay consistent regardless. Like, mm-hmm. that's just something you eat, sleep, and breathe. So, like, why are you not? Like, when people have projects, it's like they'll post a link once a week. Like, oh, I got an album. No, like, you should flood. be running us down with that. And if people, and some people are like, well, people don't want to see that, then they are not your target audience. Because right. mm-hmm. if you try and do something, you need to say fuck the people who ain't trying to see it. Right. I like yeah. that. You got, because you, you got, when I first started making art, I had a lot of people who knew me from high school. And niggas did not care about art. Hmm. A lot of people don't follow me no more. They've been unfollowing me because I'm like, they're like, why would you post some pictures of fucking buildings and shit? Like, and at <laughs> first, it, at first when I see my followers <laughs> drop, I'm like, damn, that's a bad jump. But then I realized that more followers are gonna come, more followers are gonna come. Right, the right followers. Yeah, the people yeah. who like your shit is gonna come and find mm-hmm. find the things you should do. Like, yeah. Right, and that's that's the most important thing for me is like, I don't care about having everybody in the world. I care about the people who are gonna buy my shit, come to my shows, and support my friends too. So that's all I care about. Yeah. Cause yeah, those are the people that only care about the people that support you. Mm. It's period. It's a great way to end it. Did you guys enjoy yourself today? I did. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Good time, bro. Thank you. Twenty one yeah. getting kind of stale. We mm. <laughs> ran out of topics. No. I ain't talk about shit this whole time. Show, like, yeah, like I was here. Like, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, let's talk about that next. <laughs> you barely <laughs> said anything this episode. Yeah. You was going to the Twitter chat by topics. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I saw a conversation. Yeah, <laughs> JR, I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you mentioned it. I just saw a tweet. Yeah, so the Sixers playing tonight. Uh, you know. They actually won. Y'all they believe? Won? Yeah, they won. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Sorry. So they lost? Liar. I, I yeah. looked at it wrong. Heat beat the Sixers. All right, oh, so wow. let's talk about that real quick, guys. Uh, <laughs> they lost right. by four. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so Jordan playing. He do, he do cool shit. He got battery ass and dick, you know, he made some movies and shit like that. I make that. movies, damn. Um, <laughs> but he got battery ass and dick first, though. <laughs> damn. Damn, I can take this episode. Not anymore, I got the point. <laughs> she takes some one shot. bowl, though. Yeah, why that, 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 that ain't do it, gang. That ain't do it. She was just like, bro, you need to eat these, bro. I think she care about you. Yeah, yeah, I think you fucking nasty. <laughs> Don't call me. But I got the like butter blog. She got a thousand followers. She do shit that niggas don't listen to. So you know, don't listen. And she did our boss up by herself, whatever. Um, <laughs> with, with no help at all. Yeah, at all. The nigga tweeted us. I'm taking next it. year. Art by Shira. Uh, and Blair, oh, he do cool hoodies and cool collages and shit like that. And photos. Shout out to him, creative guy, whatever. And he. 
I actually have some like for the show that I was gonna like give everyone. But yeah, I just it. I just dropped a, a <laughs> children's book. But you don't have kids. This would actually be good for you. I just dropped a, a children's book. This would be perfect to like. But we sold out. We unfortunately so sold out. Yeah. Okay. Really, not unfortunate. We literally. Well, yeah. But we literally just sold out today because like five teachers okay. came Pop up to me kids. and was like, "Yo, I need the book." He so, for the kids. Yeah, but we're going back in stock this this weekend. Mary so, so. is big for the kids. Mary is big for the kids. I had pineapple dick. Wow. And they thought he would never okay. sell the Chains comic book, but look what he did. He sold it. <laughs> Why don't you not talk about it? We out.